Ba-da, ba, ba, ba. Ba-da, ba, ba, ba. Are we live? Ba-da. Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Wherein we are expanding our core drills on Sage for the mineral water. Hopefully we won't need another outpost. Uh to be able to keep up with our demand for this stuff. Because it's quite close to our home base. I've been thinking about what I would do uh, with a whole new playthrough of SpaceX. Uh, and really, what I want to do, though I don't know if I'm capable of designing this, uh anytime soon is basically having a lot more than just core fragments transferred by the ships uh, what the oh right it was up this way wasn't it wait no I didn't want it god damn it oh well I'm, I'm sure no one will notice I'm sure it's fine Good day, D-Hose. Good to see you again. Willkommen, willkommen. Hope you're doing well. Uh, wo bist du? Alright, we're gonna need some signals over here. Two-way and... Two-way and two-way. Simple as that. And some more rail. Uh, and this should already be connected to global, which it is. How much fuel have I got? 46. Okay, I'm not going to drop onto the ocean. Good, good, good. Should have plenty of landfill on hand. And where's our blueprint? We want front right. There we go. And we should be able to connect this quite easily. Fantastic. Uh, and then that just leaves power poles with green wire. Across here. Oh, I forgot to speed limit the browser. There we go. Did I do the announce? I did the announce. Okay, good. Hopefully we've got our I's crossed and our T's dotted. And we're going to need some rail. And that'll be drill number 13. Uh, I want to keep going after the drills that are clustered together pretty tightly, not necessarily this one. We're trying to get uh, as many as we can within a reasonably small trimmed surface. It's going okay. Good day to lie in bed. How about you? Uh, yeah, not too bad. Uh, it's been hot, or it's getting hot. It's like 30, 31 degrees. Uh, it's going to be a lot worse in the near future. Um, and uh, having a bit more of the seemingly random exhaustion, but nothing too severe. All right. Uh, but yeah, if I, why is this not powered? Ah, oh, it's one tile off. Man. Can I... We're gonna, we're gonna make just a, just a slight, just a slight change this time. 
That'll do. That'll be fine. Okay. Uh, why is the drill not running? Because there's no belt. Fantastic. Okay, uh, next one. We've already got this one. I guess these two. And definitely these two. So we've we've already got, what, 13 was it? Yeah. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18? That's probably a pretty good compromise between... Not taking up too much space for the the map size, the save size, uh, and getting a little bit deep into diminishing returns. Um, so what was it? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, if we do this. Alright, so that, that one's pretty awkward. I think I'd like to get this one next. Hello, Scobix, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, train stop's going to be in the way. I guess this will have to do again. And we'll just do that straight north. Uh, and I think we'll continue this rail across here. And down this way. Just like this. A bit more landfill. And... Power poles. Well, first of all, how many... How much landfill do we need here? A thousand? We've got a thousand. Uh, where are the power poles going to fit? How about over here? For starters. And I guess up this way. That's not going to work out so well. I think we'll just put like a 2x2 two two over here somewhere. That's not going to reach. Okay, screw it. Just, just do it like this. Unless... Nah, that goes too far. I could do a diagonal, maybe. And then that would be too far to the right. Yeah, let's just not worry about that. Alright. I might have everything we need on hand to finish that build. I could always, uh, in fact, I might have to make another block. Well, I say make another block for converting matter to other things, but, like, it's always just one resource once we settle into a regime of whatever our inputs and outputs are. But I think I'd still rather have like a copy pasta of this instead of like trying to juggle we're not going to we're not going to do crafting combinators for different outputs from these things when some of the outputs are different fluids that's going to be a bit awkward what was that sound for oh that's right i think that was the yeah, new, new ship dispatch. Cool, cool, cool. 
Shack Cat, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Let's not get hit by a train. Don't tell me I need another... Another signal. Oh, man. You know what? I feel like being very lazy right now. Let's be lazy. Launch. Look at that lovely blank spot that the ship left behind. Uh, and then let's land nice and close. Like here, perhaps. Oop, shouldn't have crossed the track there. Uh, and I need to pick up some... Some signals, which should be with the other rail stuff. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so everything in range of this should already be built. Yes, thank you, Lazy Saturday. Fantastic. Best kind of Saturday. I do wish the personal bots were just a lot more responsive, so we could just full speed this. Uh, last week we tried just running into where the landfill was being placed, and discovered that it can kill you. So that was fun. Well, sometimes you have fun and sometimes the fun has you. All right, so this is going to go here. That should reach everything. It does. Fantastic. Uh, and then we need some wired pole. Oh, what, I missed that? Yeah, uh, basically I was like running along uh, with the speedy legs into where the bots were placing the landfill. Uh, and somehow it killed me. Uh, and it seems quite inconsistent, but, you know, you do it at scale and it's going to happen. Alright, does that give us... no. Does not give us a path all the way back. Oh, that's in construction train rain. Uh, train? Yes. Spaceship train. Uh, construction ship range. That might actually be it. Alright, let's test. I just wanted to double check as well. Yep. That we've got path to all those new stations. And we've got path up here as well. Beautiful. Happens sometimes, indeed. Marticus, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm going to need some power up here, which we've got. Fantastic. And this is touching global. And we just need to connect green wire to this. Wunderbar. Okay. Uh, that should be, what, 14 drills? Yes. Next, I think I'll go for these two, uh, and then these two. What are we up to at the moment? 14 times 8.69. 121 core frags per second. That's more than I was expecting. Uh, I wonder even how much processing power we've got back here with the current modules. Uh, we can process 165 per second. Don't know how I'm doing. Started SEK2, 248k playthrough. So mentally not good, probably. <laughs> okay, how about you? Uh, yeah, not too bad overall. A little bit... A little bit rough physically, but... 
Nothing... Nothing to worry about. Okay, uh, I think I'll just extend the rail from here, or maybe go straight left over here, and then up this way. Or maybe even run straight through from there to this one. Let's work back from our conclusion. Uh, I guess this will do. Kind of like that. And then over here, we're going to have... Left or right side doesn't really matter. It's In that case, let's do left side, where the station is not getting in the way. It's still not that cozy. We're one off everywhere we try to put it. Bruh. Lolly. Cool, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So your new dispatch system is just that you're reporting the full inventory of all the drills within the same brain wire network. I think I missed when you swapped to the latest version. Uh, yeah, basically... I mean, there's a few changes to the most recent version, but one of them is that... we do have a pretty good idea of how many core frags currently exist on the planet uh, as opposed to just what's in the drop-off or pickup rather so we're ev everything on the green wire is all of the train stations on the planet uh, plus what's in storage upstairs uh, and we use that information, basically we use it as a multiplier, one of the multipliers, uh, for priority. Evil Plug, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I'm going to need more than like 1.3k landfill for this, I bet. But since we're here already, uh, wait, where am I going? No, we're extending from down here. Another one? Another one. Evil Plan, thank you so much for the 21 months. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Speaking of which, uh, I, I honestly had lost track, but I, I checked today and realized I have, in fact, been doing this for more than a couple of years. Uh, and I haven't really... haven't really ever taken a break. Like, uh... You know, I've, I've taken a day off here or there where I need, I, I had to work or where my health just wasn't a hundred percent, but I've never actually taken like a bit of a holiday or something. So I'm going to be doing that soon. Tiny Goliath, welcome in. Good to see you again. Yeah, I, I may have, uh... May have pushed myself a little much. Maybe. I also have a bunch of uh, stuff that needs my attention in the short term. I need to be looking for the next job relatively soon. Healthy hacks is good hacks, indeed. Yeah, I don't want to, uh... Well, I, 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 want, I want to find... where the line is that I could do this sustainably, right? Uh, where am I? Standing over here. Need some rail up this way. And some power poles. Uh, where are we going? Oh, that's right. 
Gonna need some more fill. Zoom out a little bit so that this scrolls faster. And... Uh, those damn trees. The fake trees that don't get removed by... They don't get marked for deconstruction by ghosts. Let's fix that. Yeah, um, so I, I enjoyed doing the gimmick of, oh, you're going to reduce the core fragment stack size down to 20. Well, I'm just going to build it like you didn't do that anyway. Um, but I think next time I'd like to find a balance between, I, I do want small, simple outposts insofar as it's reasonable. But we're going to want to make much more stack dense, much more resource dense stuff. It's going to be transported between planets. So iridium ingots as opposed to iridium core fragments, for instance. Uh, so we're going to need, like, I imagine up to a dozen imports for each of the outposts, which basically means if we're going to do spaceships, we need to more or less invent something like LTN with combinators. More or less. It, it, it's going to be obviously pretty simplified so that the combinator count doesn't reach 6,000, if I can help it. And a lot of the challenge is designing something simple but effective enough to meet that criteria. Um, but yeah, the current version is a pretty big step forward compared to uh, previous stuff that I'd come up with. The short rundown is all of the outposts race to report with different multipliers based on like how many core fragments are available uh that they've each got a different little offset so that if, if they're all trying to report at maximum priority uh they'll just the one with the highest number arbitrarily will report first uh we've got a couple of limiters here so like Having a bunch of core fragments pushes this value up to, I think it was a million minus 200. Uh, this one limits to a million minus 100. And w once it reaches a million, there's like a global timer that keeps getting reset. Once it reaches a million, it will try to report. Uh, and if there's a collision, signal collision, it'll uh, try again. If we're getting short on space elevator cables, which... We occasionally get a false positive for, and I have no idea why, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, that gets, like, super priority. That's 100 ticks faster. Regardless of how many resources we've actually got here. Um, and, yeah, it, it instead of, like, we're basically replicating the old, like, timeshare system for central talking to all of the drop-offs. Uh, so this one, for instance, when that timer back at central on the loop goes, goes to 150, it'll come through here. Uh, those are all just kind of static with their timing. This just loops indefinitely. Uh, and we're doing same, same, but different for the outposts. Hello, hello. Dilka, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. As for how I would do a system of... 
ships being sent from it'd probably have to be from like a depot well i don't know it doesn't necessarily have to be from like a depot to arbitrarily selected pick up a to arbitrarily selected drop off b back to depot but that would be a much easier way to do it at least for starters but the point is that the scheduling really would be dynamic as opposed to just come pick up whatever is being offered at this outpost take it back to the same surface every time uh, and land at a different spot depending on uh, depending on this information that you got when you came to pick up whatever resource it was. I guess I'd probably use bots again, not just because they can have very high throughput for the loading and unloading, but more to the point, uh, I'd definitely like to just have a single drop-off that supplies the outposts. I, I guess it could still be like a drop-off slash loader again. Can you disable docking clamps with wires? You can. You need to feed it... Uh, a red signal. I believe it's to the base of the clamp. Uh, yeah, it's right here. Uh, let me look at one of the outposts. It's a little bit less cluttered. Uh, so you can see it there. The connection point at the bottom right of the clamp. Uh, this just outputs red signal if there's not that many core fragments. Because we want the ship to get loaded all at once, uh, partly because, well, for one thing, we don't want it kidnapping robots, uh, but also we want it to get loaded very, very quickly when the ship does land. And with some rules that we've got in place for the, for the belts to stop, uh, because we wait for all the bots to stop moving before the ship takes off, um, we don't want to have, have them like stop and start. Comrade from Poland, welcome in. Uh, Alright, so we're doing front right. No, we're not. Front left. And I guess we can just have this one go straight through. Which wire? There it is. No, that's not going to connect very cleanly. Let's just put this here. And then we can do that. Uh, and then we'll make a little bit of an exception. For where the wires are going to go over here. Okay, so diagonal. It's going to line up. Something like this, maybe. Two tiles apart. And if we follow that all the way across here, that should be pretty good. I think it's going to be in the way of the belt here, actually. Please no. Uh, yeah, I think it's in the way of the belt. Okay, we'll just change that slightly. But that lines up pretty well. Alright, back on with the bots. Does that reach? Yeah, it does. And 
Place this down first. And we probably want to put this right about here. Fantastic. Okay. Let's go build these. That doesn't line up the same. Not like that, please. Why is this not green wide? Connect like so. Alright. Uh, and that doesn't connect all the way back, does it? So I don't know if it's connected properly. Well, let's just finish this part first. And... like so. Alright, that's connected. Well, let's go back and connect it back here first. Is the rail already good? Nope. There's a little bit mi Oh, right. Damn it, I just flew past it. I guess I'll have to go back to it. We're not out of rail. Fantastic. Alright. Balls. Right about here, please. Is that it? Where does global go to? Where, where does it stop? Oh, it's probably where I did the little custom wires. No? Alright, so that one's good. One, two, three, four. Fantastic, and what about over here? That's everything. Cool, cool, cool. And that should be good. Uh, we just need a bit more rail over here, and we're done. How about we borrow this train? Uh, where am I standing right now? Right about here. No. Okay. Wait for passenger present. Uh, and then go over here. All aboard. Ooh, that's scary. Should have waited for the train to stop. Alright, uh, could you just... I don't know, come over here, wait till full. And then go up the elevator. Get back into your regular schedule. It's gonna take a little while, I think. Not as long as I thought, though. 8.1326 per second is a bit less than half a stack per second, and we're going for 400 stacks. So... What, like 17 minutes or something? 
Well, it's not that long in any case. Alright, how many drills are we up to? 16. Now we're getting somewhere. I think I'll grab these two and be done with it. Unless and until we find out that we need more. So, I think we're going to continue this one across. Uh, and we'll just go from there. Oh, I forgot to add some signals over here. Although, oh, I also forgot some belt over here. I'm sure someone pointed that out. There we go. Nice username. Welcome in. I'm also on a K2SE journey. It is indeed a journey. That is exactly what I've called it. Uh, and it's quite a long one. Even if you go relatively fast, which we're certainly not doing. Um, but yeah, I forgot to add some signals over here. Although considering the throughput of these individual stations, I, I wouldn't argue that it's necessarily uh, strictly necessary. Necessarily strictly necessary. My English good. Uh, and we're going to go... Landfill, just like this. And I want to see if we've got room to do a nice corner. Oh yeah, it should be fine. So, like this. I guess that'll do. This time we'll pre- Blueprint the belt. Why did it go backwards? I don't get why you can... You can trace it back like this, but... If I start from here and try to do it that way, it does it backwards. And thank you for the follow. Nice username. Alright, that'll do. And we should have plenty of room to do our little land-filled rail blueprint there. Uh, and we're obviously going to have room to do it over here. And that's going to be the exact same layout. And then we want intersection this way. Perfect. Uh, that's actually in a really good spot. We'll do our poles like so. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, that's going to be very convenient. Does this reach the drill? It does not. So we'll just put another one, like, here. Yep, that looks right. And that should be pretty cozy as well. Nice. Alright, let's go build it. How much landfill do we need, I wonder? Uh, probably a lot more than 1,100. Uh, and we're going to want to put some signals over here as well. Yeah, definitely more than 1,100. Oh, wow. Almost 3,000. Sure. Let's do that. Has research been moving lately? I am curious. Uh... We're still missing Singularity Tech Card. That takes a long time to make a trainload. 
but we have been produ Ooh. We have been producing it. Uh, the one machine is quite slow, though. 0.2778 per second. 16 and two-thirds per minute. That's going to take a while to make 120. What, like five more minutes or something? Uh, yeah, I've been procrastinating redoing uh, Arcospheres. It looks like we're not struggling at all with balancing them anymore, but um, yeah, I've been procrastinating doing Arcospheres so that we can keep up with the three per second that we want old science packs to be able to do, ultimately. So we're going to have to revisit that in the not-too-distant future. Uh, why don't we... Where am I looking? Where did I leave the... Uh, the Arco ship? Where is this? Inca 2 Dark Flare. We haven't... You, we haven't used Dark Flare yet, right? Yeah, no. Okay. So let's get this initiated. Uh, I guess here we'll do. And we have a blueprint. Somewhere. I think it's in here. No. Here it is. 50 Arco launches with some media defense to go with it. Do the floor first, please. And we'll come back to that when they're finished. Because that'll take a little while. How many construction bots are here? Uh, Not many, but we're inserting more. I see. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's go build this. Wait, I need more landfill. It's right. I, I made a little copper to landfill thingy up here. And I say little, but actually it's quite a few drills. All right, that'll that'll be more than enough for this one. I don't understand why my neck is sore. Almost consistent pattern of sound. How much further is it? Not that much further. I guess we'll do this way first. I want to place a little landfill before lining up all the ghosts. So now we work backward from here. Just a little bit further. Okay. 
Let's check on that ship. A little bit more to go still. Why do we only have 54 construction bots? Maybe I should... Well, I can barely fit more here. But maybe I should regardless. Or just add another container for them. Uh, I think we can get away with another... Another small chest without it going over the hull stress. Do we have a chest here? Yeah, we do. Let's see, 1334. Versus, oh, that's not even close. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I think I'll add like a dedicated chest for the bots. Okay. Anyway, for now, we want Braille. We want outposts. We want intersection. We want power poles. With the green wire, please. That one's going to need a m manual connection. And... Uh, we'll put this one... Right about here. Uh, I think... Stretch it out a bit, put it here. And for this one, it literally just need needed to be two tiles further. Let's put it over here. Okay, where are we standing right now? Maybe I should have waited a little bit longer there. But I want to get this part planned out. Wait. Oh, I see. Oh, and I need more bulk rail loaders. Uh, I guess I'll fly back to the ship. Up we go. Where did I park? I think I left a bot lagging behind. No. Must be my imagination. We require bulk rail loaders. There's only... Oh, 20 left. That will be more than enough for our short-term goals. And I don't need more rail. Signals are fine. We're down to our last train stop. Uh, should have plenty of pylons. Yeah, that should be fine. Alright, head back to the route. Our son, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Hello to you too. Uh, where are we going? Down this way. Hmm. 
we need to connect to this. Oh, and this apparently. No, nope. it just doesn't render the green wire until we get like, what, most of the way across with the screen? I think that's only true with ghosts. Yeah, you can see the green wire on the left. It doesn't cut out. But the green wire on the right going to the ghost lighted pylon flickers on and off depending on where we're focusing. A little bit weird. Roughly how many hours is your run so far? Uh, yes. It's, it's a month and change. Let's put it that way. Obviously there are plenty of parts where we could have gone a bit faster, like all of it. But yeah, it's, it's a commitment. Oh my, indeed. I mean, we, we did win a while ago, but we set some arbitrary endgame goals. Which are proving a little bit more challenging than expected, to be honest. Are my bots exhausted or something? No? Not even close. They're just being a bit weird. Alright, I'm going to park here and check on that ship. Here we go. Where's that blueprint again? Just like this, please. And maybe we can get it right this time. Or at least learn what goes wrong. So some of these end up with space probe ro uh, rockets inserted during the construction process. Obviously none of them are going to get early Arcosphere collector insertions because construction is way too fast for that. Uh, slash the recipe is very slow. But because the wires aren't necessarily connected depending on the order that the bots build things uh, some of these kind of jump the gun a little bit but I think if we wait until every single one of them I think if we do it like this actually yeah I, I could probably just start with the uh Did you just put in another one? What? No, it's probably fine. I could probably just start with the blueprint only forbidding the Arcosphere collectors. And then wait till all of these are synchronized. Before enabling Arcosphere collector insertion. And then they should all be synchronized for all... What is it? 300? 500 launches. So yeah, we'll just come back to that in... Actually, it's not going to be that long. We're already at like 60-something percent minimum. Uh, but yeah, we'll just come back when all of these are ready to launch. Wow. We haven't even charged up the media defense installations yet. It's a little bit overkill, for the sake of symmetry. Just a little, little bit of a waste of uh, power, but who cares at this scale. Alright, uh, back to building this stuff for the moment. And we need to double check. Really? I think I should just build it myself. Uh, what was I going to say? I kind of derailed my thought train. Alright, that's connected. That's connected to global. Fantastic. And... Train... Has path. 
beautiful. One more to go. And we'll be out of here. And hopefully that'll be enough for the whole playthrough for mineral water core frags. I guess now that we're not placing landfill, I can just run across this. And this goes here. Cool. And that's global. Nice. Alright, let's check on our, our launches. Fantastic. Looks like we're ready to go. Uh, so I'm just going to lower the volume first. The game volume, that is. Colonizing new planet, actually just expanding one of our existing ones. What a stop? Stop, stop, chat. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. All right. Uh, let's launch some Arcospheres. Or collectors, rather. Fantastic. And the next set of launches should all automatically be in sync. Looks good. Why hasn't the... oh, there it goes. I was going to say, why hasn't the recipe started? Alright. So this is all done. Let's trim the map. Sage. Trim surface. That took a little longer than I thought it would. Which means we're making the save a bit smaller. Uh, so now we've got a fairly modest sized map still, but we've got 18 drills. For a total of... 138 core frags per second. Did I just pin that? Yeah. And what was our capacity to process them again? For the moment, 165. Cool. I'm, I'm okay with that. Well, if it's going to be more mineral water than we need, I'm okay with that. I certainly hope so. We should probably look at another outpost if we need more than this. But let's get back to the ship. Herb tea out of supplies. Another false positive, no doubt. Yeah, we've got 3,000 cables here. As in, our target is 3,000. Uh, this positive number here says it wants the next ship to bring 11 cables, if it launches right now. This is supposed to only uh, trigger, like, emergency, please bring stuff right now, if this gets up to 1.5k. I really don't understand where these false positives are coming from. But they don't really do any harm. Unlike some other bugs that we had to chase. Alright. Back to Hagen Orbit. Away we go. And leave a suspiciously clean uh, bunch of tiles. Oh, that train that we left up there is already back in rotation. 
Cool, cool, cool. Wait, do we only have two trains here? Well, they seem to be enough. I think we do have three, though. Where is the other one? I don't know. No, I think it's just the two of them. Well, that's fine. If we see them idle, we know they're keeping up. Only takes like a second for them to load all this anyway. Okay. Uh, what's our ETA to get back? Less than a minute. Fantastic. Did we end up trying this thing? I think we did. I think it was too fast for the defenses, wasn't it? Yeah, we need like triple layers of shields because... A little bit of bad luck and two giant rocks in one place gets through the two shields. Actually, I think it was uh, the second rock barely got through. That's why we added all those lasers. Did we actually try this version already? I feel like we probably did. It was faster than expected, but not good enough with the defenses. It was going to be very difficult to get the defenses up to speed. Oh, it's kind of wasting energy. No, it's attached to the main grid. It's, it's powering everything else. I mean, it is wasting energy with all these shield projectors just sitting here. But still. Alright, are we there yet? Six seconds. What should we work on next? Upgrade to tier 9. Barrel. That seems like a good idea. Uh, how many prods do we have at this point? Let's see. There's 28 tier 9 prods over here. And 41 over here. Not a bad trickle of modules, if I do say so. There's 200 and something... Uh, speed 9s? Wasn't that the limit that I set? Yeah, we're aiming for like 200 of each type in the mall before we just keep making them in balanced numbers over here before they uh, get scheduled to be delivered to the mall. So we do have a lot of resources uh, going to modules that that won't be when we're just trying to spam science. So that's worth considering. Uh, what are we short on right now? Nothing? So speed dines are basically already saturated for our current goals. That's pretty surprising and awesome. Uh, I think we should bump the limit up. Let's make it like a thousand. Make it 500 for now. I'm sure that's more than enough. More than enough for any project or three, especially considering that the higher tier builds uh, use fewer modules as well. Since we only need a handful of machines. Um, but we're missing self-healing gel. I remember speeding that up. We're probably bottlenecked on input. Vitalic reagent, yeah. 
Yeah, Vitalik Reagent went from saturated to uh, severe bottleneck once we started making tier 9 prod modules. To the surprise of no one, I would imagine. Uh, still plenty of epoxy, but what do you expect when we're hard prioritizing it? Hmm. We're not actually machine bottlenecked here, are we? Surely not. Yeah, there's no uh, lithium chloride in this one at the moment. And that one just ran out. Well, there's more on the way, but still. Uh, can we theoretically keep up with the lithium chloride at the moment? 368 per second. 411 per second. But that's if all of it goes to here, and there's, uh, there's other demands for it, I'm sure. I think, I think lithium chloride, or how about, how about Vitalik Reagent itself should probably be one of our first targets for prod nines. I know you can get more multipliers if you put things earlier in the chain, but these only fit two modules anyway for each machine. Uh, and we need quite a few modules to upgrade the earliest steps uh, for Vitamelange. That said, uh, upgrading the pulverizers to tier 9 would probably help a lot. How many do we have? It was less than 100, right? 41 plus 28... So, what was it? 69? Nice. So, if we prod 9 our centrifuges here, and we should probably do these as well. Uh, centrifuges, uh, 32 times 2, 64. We can actually do that right now. Let's go. Uh, give me some... Give me some nines. Fantastic. And I think I'll just go grab these over here. Actually, oh yeah, it, it waits until there's 50 of something in this container before the train bothers to pick it up. I'll just fly over there. Big spaceships in the way. Yoink. Alright, so we have... Yeah, 69 rod nines. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go downstairs. And max tier productivity. Uh, one of our most demanding resources. And give me some efficiencies while we're at it. Okay, downstairs we go. And the nice thing is by upgrading a part of the Vitamelange chain with prod modules, prod modules begets more prod modules. How are you not leaving yet? There you go. Huh? Okay, that's rude. I wonder if there's a way... I, I don't think there's a way to signal... so that certain areas have priority for right-of-way as opposed to others. 
I'm getting a little bit crowded around the space elevator right now. We do have a second one, but... Oh, that's looking a little bit crowded too. Maybe it's time for space elevator number three. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we should put it like here. One, two, three, four, five. I would have to move this for consistency, but I wanted to refactor this one so we don't use belts uh, for the depot regardless. Okay, anyway, let's go plug these modules in. This is kind of exciting. The first uh, mass insert of Productivity 9s, or any Tier 9s for that matter. So what's the difference? Um, productivity plus 28% or plus 40% if there's just two of them to go from tier 6 to tier 9. Very good. And over here as well. Whoa, that's fast. Can't wait to start putting these all over the place. I'm actually quite pleasantly surprised at how many we've already got. And we've got five left. I could max tier one of the epoxies, and I don't see why not. And let's do uh, speeds and efficiencies at whatever the right ratio is. Did I not bring enough speeds? Huh. I definitely didn't bring enough speeds. To make the most of this. Oh, I should bump up the priority on this one for now. So that we drop off where there's more prod 9 more often. Uh, okay, can we, like... Yeah, we've got a million speed nines here. Let's just bring some downstairs. Or hell, just bring all of them, since we seem to be able to produce them with such relative ease. over here. Fantastic. Alright, that'll do. Downstairs with you. Um, and I guess I better go back to the mall. How many efficiencies did I bring? 34. We need like uh, eight or nine, I think it is. No, wait. It's definitely seven or less, because... Oh, it might be eight. Anyway, uh, we need that times three. Which we've definitely got. Cool, cool, cool. Train should be getting here soon. Fantastic. Midden, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Welcome in, Drools. These mods are such a commitment, indeed. What's the cost of a single module? It seems to... I seem to remember that it's rather big. Yeah, it's not... Wait, what, what are you... Where are you going? Why did it leave? Oh, because I was standing here... For the system that's supposed to automatically leave when I get in. Lamal. Passenger present and green circuit. Oh, this one's set to passenger not present. What the hell? Okay. Veldak, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. 
Uh, yeah, the cost of a single module, uh, it's pretty big, but not as bad as SE.5. Uh, SE.6, I think, has each neck, each increasing tier of module requires two of the previous tier, plus a bunch of other stuff. Uh, so you can see how, you know, that with nine tiers of module, that's going to get pretty expensive. Uh, and the costs associated with everything but the previous tier of module um, at the higher tiers uh, are not trivial either. But like 500 nanomaterial to make one speed nine. Uh, but yeah, in SE.5, it was actually three of the previous tier of modules for each upgrade. So a lot worse. Um, you know, not 50% worse, uh, 50%, you know, 1.5 times 1.5 times 1.5, nine times, uh, that much worse. It's a lot. If we mouse over, like, uh, I don't think it's going to tell us in raw resources. Uh, it's not, it's not that easy. Uh, it's a lot in any case. I forgot to grab these. Give me the, give, give me all the nines, please. Whatever may be lying around as well, which I expect is nothing. Which is light as vanilla, which is five to one. Uh... Doesn't vanilla only go to three modules? General Tank, welcome in. Okay, back we go. And let's figure out a good ratio for this beacon. We're going to start with full speed ahead. And then we're just going to add efficiency modules until... Rather than 72 crafting speed or 10 crafting speed for 45 times power or 49 times power, we're going to go for like plus 900, plus 200, plus 80, minus 80. I can probably get away with like a tier 6 in here or something as well. Uh, this is still triple cost, whatever. It's not even that hard to make the high tiers. And this is, like, cleaner. Um, so we're looking at 6.5 times crafting speed for the centrifuges and 44 times for the Vitalik Epoxy, which is still going to be, like, very, very fast to keep up with the raw resources. I mean, let's... Uh, I should have, like, not prod nined these yet to compare properly, but whatever. What are we up to now with this? Uh, we actually need, like, 50% more Vitalik Reagent if we wanted a perfect ratio here, but I really don't care. This fits together pretty well. And we need a lot of belt input to support this anyway. We need... Most of one purple belt of extract, almost a full purple belt of lithium chloride, uh, 34 glass per second, and 9 vulcanite blocks per second for four of these. So we're really not that worried about, you know, perfect ratioing from this to this. Uh, but yeah. That's going to make our Vita Melange go further. War Striker, welcome in. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. I've got full furnace stacks of each ore to plate recipe. I might have to run all the way through this mod pack to make sure it's possible to beat, especially since it's half mods that are still in... half mods that are still in alpha state. I see. Even the first three tiers are vastly different. 
Compared to vanilla? Yeah. Okay, uh, so what's our ratio here? 13 to 7. Which is pretty, uh, pretty similar to the ratio that we've been producing, uh, the tier 9s, actually. I wonder if there's any deliberateness in that, or if it's just a coincidence. We're out of quantum pro- ooh, quantum processes. Damn. That's gonna be rough. Oh. I thought we would- I mean, I may have just caught it at a good time, but I was gonna say I thought there would be a material bottleneck here. Let's see. Quantum processor. It's actually been fairly solid. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it too much for the moment. At least it's not that high a priority. Let's do these other two beacons. 13 and 7. And 13... Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben. Uh, yeah, six point five. Cool. We don't go through that much extract. Maybe I should save these prod modules for like pulverizers as a priority. But I'd rather just leave it here and not think about it. Also, since I already prioritized this one, it means the reagent will go further here. Which means our reagent will go further in... Our vital melange will go further in general. What's our rate? If we're saturated on epoxy, which we are... 24.26 reagent per second is basically half a stack. Which for Vitalik reagent is pretty great. Uh, we're just not going to be seeing like saturated purple belts of reagent pouring out. Okay, cool. Uh, I really want more modules. So what do we have to do to make that happen? Self-healing gel is just going to trace back to Vitamin Lunch, I think. Uh, how are we doing over here? What are we short on? Nothing? Yeah, I think... Hmm. Is it actually bot bottlenecked? Okay, that I was not expecting. That I was not expecting. Uh, we've got 50 bots, right? Yeah, and they're just constantly flying. Okay, they are, they are in the middle of unloading right now, but... Like, that should happen pretty quickly if they're keeping up with things. Because with the short trip, they're very, very efficient. Hmm. Oh. It's an inserter bottleneck. Really? How much glass is this? 60% <laughs> oh, yeah. 60 glass per second with tier 6 speeds in this thing. Okay then. That's a little bit extreme. Maybe I'll just settle for this being the bottleneck. I mean, I'm pretty sure at the higher tiers we're bottlenecked on Vit uh, Vita Melange, regardless. Yeah. Yeah, we need more Vitalic Reagent to get the self-sealing gel. 
uh, to get the prod eights so that we can get the prod nines. It looks like the inputs, the direct inputs for the prod nines besides prod eight aren't really going to be a problem. Yeah, so I really don't care about that insert a bottleneck downstairs if this is going to be the bottleneck anyway. All right, uh, how are we actually doing for Vitima Lunch, though? We can get a rough idea just looking at these stations. So at least one of them has extract available for pickup right this instant. That's a good sign. But it looks like it's just going to be the one which is less good. Yeah, it seems like... It seems like we're barely keeping up, because I, I do see extract here all the time. So what else are we short on? I think it's always just lithium chloride. Maybe we should just speed that up. Every time I check here, though, there's, like, significantly more than a train load. Oh, is it actually because we produce it so quickly with stack size 50 that by the time the train physically gets here? Maybe. Is there another train coming? Regardless, I think we should double this. Let's do it now. It's not even that many machines. We did uh calculate this for you know what actually why don't i just physically speed this up and then maybe we'll put prod nines in here oh the mineral water oh i forgot about this yeah that's not even going to help because we were already bottlenecked on uh pumping the mineral water although we are trying to get this to be four-fifths full, and the fluid would pump faster if we did that. So I'm pretty sure the bottleneck actually was mineral water. That's what sent us to Sage. So I don't think doubling this right now is going to help. Regardless. Hmm... Maybe I should prod the mineral waters. When are we getting another load of uh, prods, though? So basically, we need a delivery of self-sealing gel. It stacks to only 50, and we need 180 for one prod 8, which means 360 for a prod 9. Uh, 5,000 over 360... We get less than 14 prod 9s for a train load of self-sealing gel. 100 stacks. Uh, and this is how fast we're making it. 11.68 per second. So... Let's pretend that we're supplying this all the time, which probably isn't happening even with the recent changes. Uh, six, eight. So that would be, wait, what? Yeah, about 31 seconds to make a single prod nine. Uh, and that's, that's if we keep this supplied 24 seven. which I have my doubts about, even though we did just improve the Vitalik reagent. What are we missing? Lithium chloride? Maybe... No. 
we're already prioritizing this one, and it seems to be running continuously, so I don't think there's any point in, like, switching off the other ones for the moment. Good evening, Glacier Wolf. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. I'm also looking forward to the ghost changes from the last Triple F. Uh, is that the one that was yesterday? Because I haven't looked at it yet. We'll we'll look at that. I'm not sure when. Pretty soon. Didn't want to do it right at the start of the stream. Give every uh, give people a chance to come in. Take a look. Okay, we will. So what are we doing? How fast is this right now? Theoretic. Holy crap. Because it's lower tier prods with the high tier beacon. <laughs> Theoretically 913 per second. 8 times 90. Uh, 720 per second. So that would be belt bottlenecking anyway. I should just get rid of these. Put the tier 6s back because that bottleneck didn't change anyway. Plus 460, minus 80. There we go. All right. Shall we look at it now? I can't copy paste that. I want to. I'm, I'm kind of waiting for some prod modules at the moment anyway. I'm kind of. Uh, Kind of psyched to prod some things, but we have to wait a bit, so let's do the triple F. Okay, Chrome. And once again, I need to change this one. Here we go. Okay, let me do a save real quick. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so what do we got? Remote view. We'd like to talk about the remote view changes coming in the 2.0 base game update. This is one of the foundations to be able to talk about the space platform and planets later. Yeah, they'd, they'd have to improve remote view, wouldn't they? So let's get to it. In 362, we explained the, re the reasoning to improve the remote and ghost building as it became more important with Spidertrons. With the introduction of planets and space platforms, the importance of the remote building grew even more. Just can't be everywhere at the same time. The goal is to be able to use remote view for everything you can do locally. Oh, that would be nice. The motivation is also to remove as many inconsistencies as possible. So your muscle memory works almost the same everywhere. That's cool. In the current 1.1, you can't remotely open an assembly machine to change the recipe. Uh, an inserter to set a filter, but you can use the blueprint trick to do it. So we implemented uh, remote opening. Let me just unpause this. We implemented remote opening of every entity. This was only possible for train stops and locomotive in 1.1. Can't just teleport your inventory items there. Okay. Seems good. Notice the ghost picker on the left side in the remote view. Ghost picker. Ghost picker. Uh, I don't understand. Notice the ghost picker on the left side. Ghost cursor selection. I, I guess that's it. Elevated rails. Ghost items. Since we want to allow you to do almost everything, we need a way to work with items remotely. The biggest motivation that arose from playtesting... Uh, that distracted me. I thought something was happening in my game, which didn't make sense. The biggest motivation arose from playtesting was being able to add fuel 
to stock locomotives. So that's not cheating. Remove random items from places where they don't belong. And to add or upgrade remo or remove modules. Huh. Oh, okay, so that is just like a uh, module inserter, only easier. That's fine. So the solution is that you can just simply click a ghost cursor to add an inventory slot to make a ghost item, which will be delivered by the slot by the local construction boss. Same for removal, which makes decon uh, cross and orders robots to take it out. Fantastic. Honestly, it should have been like this a long time ago. Rotating stuff. In 1.1, you can already remotely change the direction of entities. You can only do so by ghost rebuilding the entity while the R button is just to rotate it, which makes another inconsistency compared to local building. Internally... We had quite a lot of logic related to real direction and future direction, which had to be considered in a lot of places and was being always being more and more bringing more and more problems. So they're just ditching that. It's kind of like picket dollies almost, right? Well, not picket dollies, just the way we can remote uh, manipulate belts remotely, like we have long reach or something. That's good. While solving yet another problem related to this, we realized that making rotation just an instant action might be the way out. It doesn't break the immersion too much and simplifies things. Cool, cool, cool. Opening ghosts. Opening ghosts. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this a lot. You don't have to wait till it's there. Please tell me we're going to be able to do stuff like manipulate stuff that's going to be placed on top of landfill next. Once we allowed the remote entity configuration a new problem. Locally you could uh, you might be used to just building an assembly machine and configuring it right away. But with remote building you have to place the ghost, wait till the robots place it, blah blah blah. It wasn't technically that hard to allow ghosts and configuring them. Opening ghosts. Nice. This is good. Blueprinting Spidertrons and equipment? Oh, yes, please. Another thing that you could do remotely was building Spidertrons or reconfigure their equipment. Couldn't. The main technical cost was to add equipment ghosts. So when you uh, blueprint the spider, the robots can install the equipment into the Spidertrons. Fantastic. 100% proof of this. That is lovely. The extra bonus is that you can put a ghost equipment into your armor now, so you don't have to do one-time orders. For th You can put a ghost equipment into your armor now. So you don't have to do one-time orders for things like the armor, which happens... Much more in the expansion because of quality. This is especially important for the platform building, so you don't need to wait for... Oh, is this going to say what I think it's going to say? Oh, yes. Tell me you can click on those and just configure them after placing the blueprint uh, ghost as well. Even outside of this context, being able to build ghost entities on Ghost Landfill was a long-time wish of ours, and also a lot of players. Nice. Very nice. Decon. The Alt-D shortcut is part of muscle memory now, but still the inconsistency of being able to use the Mine button to remove entities locally, but not remotely, was there. Okay. A little detail. Remote view context. With the planets and space platforms present, we had to make a way to remotely uh, move these, move to these other places. 
This is just natural to make new buttons on the right as an access to these places. Maybe my brain is full of cobwebs, but... Or maybe that grammar is a bit off. With the planets and space platforms present, we had to make a way to remotely move to these other places. It was just natural to make new buttons on the right. Okay. Oh, I think they just mean, like, shift the focus there. Which leads to the GUI, where you can see a preview of different places, and I have a way to jump there. Cool, cool, cool. Once we started playing, it became obvious that this system is horrible. For example, if you want to check something on a planet and then switch to a platform, you have to do planet GUI, planet view, close, platform GUI. Okay, yeah. Also, the preview... Uh, preview of the planet's GUI kind of lured you into trying to do stuff in there directly. As if it was the remote view already. I don't understand. So we repeatedly felt stupid for trying to click into the non-functional preview widget. The solution was to integrate everything together. When you open the remote view, it always shows the planet or platform selection on the left. So you can use the remote view normally and do everything and also switch between places. Okay. This is the reason why the access to the planet or platform travel and platform creation is in a little bit of an unintuitive place at first glance. It just works way better in the long run. I'm, I'm sure there's going to be an iteration or two on that. And there's nothing wrong with that. We use the same strategy for trains, so it is just a glued piece of GUI to the remote view. So you can interact with the world around the selected train the usual way, instead of just uh, seeing just the map which is otherwise non- otherwise non-interactable. What is Ghost Shader? You may notice ghosts in the previous images looked a little bit different. Touching up the appearance of ghost entities had internally been haunting our minds. I see what you did there. In 1.1, ghosts are simply drawn semi-transparent. I guess the job done, but can be somewhat cluttered and hard to distinguish. Uh, to tint or not to tint? The behemoth biter in the room is the color change or tint. Are they doing like different tints for different reasons, or is it just a bit of a style change? Many entities are only distinguished by their color, for instance, inserters and logistic chests. If the ghosts are tinted, it's more difficult to tell them apart. However, th throughout our testing, it became increasingly obvious that distinguishing the ghosts as a whole from real entities was more important. You tend to care more whether it's a ghost or not. Okay. Shader is just a GPU program. They didn't explain it for people that don't understand. Okay. Eager to flaunt the uh, full power of shader magic, we've tried many types of distortion, blueprint grids, hazard stripes, eerie static jack-o'-lanterns, ultimately decided on a fairly unobtrusive overlay. Fair enough. Oh, I have one of those sliders. Yeah, it's definitely an improvement, I would say. It's easier to look at just overall, and it's much more obvious that they're blueprints as well. There's a lot more contrast. But at what cost? Well, the GPU can 
perform Herculean amounts of operations first. The connection through which your PCC sends the instructions is very narrow. This hologram effect is all fine and dandy, but it makes the game choppy. That is no good. Or if it makes the game choppy, it's no good. Therefore, keeping the size of each instruction low is paramount. I'm glad they value this. I mean, Factorio wouldn't be what it is already if they didn't. Luckily, the standard Factorio draw call had several unused numbers in it for very specific things such as tree leaves moving in the wind. This allowed, a bit, uh, allowed me to bit pack all the necessary information in without inflating the size of draw calls whatsoever. Very nice. They managed to smuggle it in with space that was already being used, basically. One more thing, since we now tint the ghosts, we can use it to provide a little bit of extra info to the player. Specifically, the ghosts will change tint when they have been assigned. Oh, I love that. That's fantastic. Ten out of ten. So you can tell at a glance if there's a robot on the way and or if you have the re required materials in the network. Beautiful. No notes. Uh, this is all very, very good. Love it. All right, time to catch up with chat. Oh, that doesn't scroll back that far. Now, where are we? Spoilers? Wait, what do you mean spoilers? Loving the new quality of life changes, indeed. Fraser K, Alil, welcome in. Trademarks, welcome in. Is there any place to get uh, the blocks? Yes, indeed. Thank you, Veldak. Guy clicking, welcome in as well. And Turtle. Ghost on landfill ghosts, indeed. Auto does the request for the items that go into the armor. Yeah, that's really good. Most impressive uh, thing to me is that I love almost all the changes they're making so far. Vovasunt, welcome in. Latest Triple F literally integrating like half of SE quality of life mods, indeed. Now that's often how it goes. I mean, that's a good thing usually, right? If devs look at quality of life mods that everyone's using and say, you know what, that should be in the base game. As long as they don't, like, make the mods, like, do a slightly worse job than the mods and then you can't use the mods or something like that. Can't wait for two layer rails, indeed. Did not know SE dev was a Factorio dev. I think, uh, I think they were promoted to Factorio Dev. Marticus, welcome in. Particle Live. Yeah, there you go. Not unprecedented that good modders uh, end up working on the actual game. Okay. I pray for Beacon Rework. Indeed. Oh yeah, I don't even want to think about vanilla beacons. I'm so used to I'm so used to SE beacons now, and I think that's just so much better. It's so much cleaner and it's more interesting trying to fit them together and stuff. Uh and the the builds that you're how can I put this? Uh the builds that you're incentivized into with vanilla beacons. Frankly, I think they're hideous. Um, where did where did that beacon go just now? Here we go. Like you, you end up with stuff like trying to fit eight beacons around every single uh, every single machine. It's more than 8, isn't it? It's like 12, I think. And then you've got, like, barely any room for 
blue belts and some stack inserters and then repeat the whole thing over and over and over again and it's yuck i hate it nothing nothing about i, I don't like anything about vanilla beacons <laughs> Mine is without resources are getting marked now as well. Nice. Picket Ollie's is such a great mod. It's probably my favorite mod. But maybe a bit much for base game. Crossbow, welcome in. Did you like quality on everything they announced? Seems like unnecessary complication. Uh, I don't love the, uh, the RNG and stuff, but the fact that it's like optional and out of the way um like like you, you could just completely ignore quality if you want uh it, it really doesn't bother me that much new item quality is a bit baffling fair enough pretty sure a number of minecraft modders ended up joining the official team uh wouldn't surprise me i don't know the specifics all right Would like it if it would be required to research the ability to have more than one beacon. Um, yeah, like I said, it's it's. I I don't like the uh, the kind of optimal builds that you're herded into without beacon sickness. Quality, quality is optional in-game kind of sense. You have to actually spec into it to even start making higher quality stuff here. Yeah. It's even more hilarious with K2 buildings with vanilla and K2 beacons. How so? Uh, are we making more of this now? Judging by the belts, I think we have been. What's it called again? Lithium chloride. Uh, wrong view. Lithium chloride. Last hour. Last ten hours. It's definitely been trending up over like the last two hours or more. But I don't know about the last hour. I think we're just catching it. I think I just caught it peaking a bit. But... I'm pretty sure there's more mineral water here than there was before. Which is what we should probably expect since we expanded Sage a bit. Uh, let's look at... Core Fragment... Mi mineral water. Yeah. Why is it... Oh, right. I see. So this is when we added like one drill or two, maybe. Uh, and then we were in the process of building a bunch more of them. Maybe. I don't think everything got saturated at some point. I wonder what's up with the wobbly lines here. Um, but in any case, we're now quite consistently making 8.3k per minute. Uh, which hopefully is going to mean that this gets saturated. And more to the point, the uh, lithium chloride gets saturated. I could also... Could also turn matter into mineral water faster. Might be a good idea. I imagine we're still... I, I'm sure we're still, like, deleting matter sometimes, maybe. How full does this uh, how full does this have to be 800k before we start getting rid of it 
Uh, that's 80%. It's like 80% full right now. So yeah, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure we're still deleting some of this matter. What if... How fast does this make mineral water? 625 per second each. Well, I was going to say, what if we built like a couple of these right here? But then we need to do the logistics of uh, swapping these things all over the place and recharging them and stuff. Much easier if I just like copy past to this. Which is a bit overkill. Uh, I could just put some speed nines in here. Yeah, let's go do that. That might be more than we need for the moment. SE tier 9 are only 20%. DLC will be 25%. Damn. For like the max tier prod modules. With no more power or slowdown. That's going to be busted. Alright. So. Oh, for one thing, we could put a beacon 2 here. Uh, which apparently I didn't bring. I'm surprised. Uh, I guess I'm not that surprised that we haven't done this yet. So let's see. Currently we can eat only 125 matter per second, which for matter isn't that slow. Um, to make 1.25k mineral water per second. And if the only thing we changed was tier 2 beacon, it'd still make it not very power expensive. We'd be looking at not that much more actually, 1.46k per second for 146 matter. But the real fun begins with the tier 9 speed modules. Uh, and since we don't want to pay 2.76 gigawatts each for crafting speed 15, 7, 8 is 50 megawatt each, 9 is uh, a lot less, 9.68 for 10.5 crafting speed each. Uh, so now we're looking at 2.1k per second. It's not double, uh, but it is comparable to double. Let's see what our mineral water... looks like now. That wasn't as dramatic as I thought it would be. Why did it peak and then slow down a little bit? Oh, maybe we just stopped producing over here at that same moment? At this one, maybe? In any case... Uh, yeah, maybe now that will... That's pumping a lot slower than I would like. Mm. There's not a whole lot I can do about it. I guess this wouldn't hurt. Let's bring... Construction train down here for a sec. Because if we're doing 2k per second, that's a train every 30 seconds. And we want it to load faster. Uh, we'll also increase the provide threshold to like 100k. So there's always going to be 40k sitting here, ignoring the speed of this after the train comes for it, uh, just so that this is more full before the train gets here. 
which means it'll pump faster. Oop. Let's see how fast this loads. Uh, it's... I was going to say not too bad, but now it's looking a bit, a bit awkward. Meanwhile, we've got 17, 18, 19,000 in this container, and like zero in this container. Factorio fluid noises. Maybe I should like aggressively pump some up over this way. Or I could just set the provide threshold even higher. Uh, I think that I think the last train came before we changed the uh it was scheduled before we changed the provide threshold. Cest, thank you very much for the sub and for the three months. Much appreciated. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Like SE ten yes, yes. Uh here's our train. That one's already retiring. It's this one. Traffic says no. There it goes. Maybe I should make less dense uh depots. No, it doesn't seem to be that bad. As long as we don't, like, build a station that has to have a delivery every 17 seconds or something like that, um, I don't see this as being that much of a problem. Oh, I didn't even see it, which is a good sign, actually. Yeah, we want the train to load quickly. That's the whole point. Here comes another one. And... It does get stopped at like 75%. Still a bit slower than I would like. Uh, what do we got? Room for 250k. What if I say the whole thing has to be half full? before a train comes to pick it up. That should be fine. Okay, anyway. Example number 6000 of where I wish I had made the rail blocks ever so slightly bigger because we could fit a huge tank with pumps going directly to the to the fluid wagons right here if we had just one more one more tile makes it both harder and easier because military science is an off-planet resource Engineers doesn't know bugs exist until visiting a planet with them. Oh, so there's no bugs on the starting planet normally? I wonder if they'll have some different settings for that so you can still have like a early game military challenge. I'm sure mods will cover it regardless. Takes the goo and researches it to figure out what these bugs are and how to kill them. So, now the million dollar question, are we... Yeah, I think we are making lithium chloride faster. Lithium chloride production... Last 10 minutes. Uh, tentatively does seem to be trending upwards. It has peaked higher than the last hour. And it's peaked higher than the last 10 hours. So probably, yes. How close are we to getting some prod nines? Uh, 
don't tell me that's what's been added since we looked last. There's 28 over here, probably none over here. Yeah. Uh, how many is this? If we want to do the whole thing, uh, 12 times 4, 48. I could just do like half of them. Yeah, let's do it. It'll mean more prods more sooner. It'd be a little bit easier if I just go upstairs myself. Time to hydrate. Uh, are we leaving? Oh. Wait. Oh, there it is. Phoenix, welcome in. There can be different scenarios with and without bugs. Fantastic. Wait, where, where was I going? Oh, right, modules. Close enough. One moment. Okay, what do we got? 28. I'll take those as well. I should make some teleporters. I should make a network of teleporters. Because we can just click on whichever one we want to go to across the whole surface. Can I build a teleporter where there's... Spaceship floor? I'd like that. Oh, I think the answer is yes. Cool, cool, cool. So we can stand here to not worry about life support as well. Uh, where are we going to put one? I guess I could squeeze it in here. Uh, why not? Let's get some floor. Teleporters are expensive, but it's not like we're building many of them. And where else do I want one? Uh, I don't physically need to go to science. Oh, speaking of science. Why isn't it moving? What are we missing? Astro 4. Where's the bottleneck? Or is something broken? No Astro 3, no Aeroframe Scaffold. Uh, Because we aren't requesting it. Good talk. Not sure why we're not requesting it. I probably just forgot to turn it back on when we refactored or something. Yellow light means it's probably the ladder. And here we go, picking it up from our newer system. Fantastic. Okay. How imbalanced is this? Uh, a bit. I 
I still haven't come up with a succinct way to just perpetually rebalance these while still taking full advantage of all of the storage space. For some of our slower resources, we put like... Uh, where have I got an example? Yeah, we just limit these two to 50 stacks each, one cargo wagon. Uh, and we've got another 40 stacks in here that automatically gets picked up by the bulk rail loaders. But... Uh, and that works beautifully. So we can have short trains or long trains pick this up. But to have uh, the whole storage available and to have it automatically rebalance without adding combinators that I don't want to add, I don't know if that's possible. Let's go downstairs. What's the biggest UPS bottleneck in... Mega SE base? I believe it's spaceships. Um, that's just my speculation based on just just watching what happened to the UPS since we added a bunch. Uh, we could also... Where's that button? F4? No. F5 debug mode. Okay, here we go. Oop. That was makes it a bit harder to read. Oh, uh, I should probably move away from the map because you can literally watch the UPS drop lower if we look at the whole map. It's not that bad here. Uh, we lose like five UPS or something. But yeah, you can you can actually see it immediately go up if I zoom in on blackness. Uh, I think it's a lot worse actually. Yeah, yeah. Watch this. If I turn if I look at the whole map and turn on electric networks. You can immediately see the UPS drop. Not as... Not as severely as I expected, though. Maybe it was worse in previ previous playthrough. Regardless, uh, we've got... Circuit network at 2.7. It's a lot less bad than last playthrough, because we're using the bulk rail loaders instead of very complicated uh, many entities with circuits, uh, many inserters, filter inserters. Entity update is 8. Trains are 3.5. Script update is got up to 10. I think spaceships uh, are included under script update. LTN and SpaceX itself are your two biggest users. Uh, I don't know that LTN is that severe. Where is LTN anyway? Like, can we explicitly see... Mod LTN screensaver, that's definitely not it. Uh, logistic train network is actually... Oh, wow. It's actually more than the circuit networks. I stand corrected. We could slow that down a bit. Um... Let's play with it a little bit. So there is a global setting for LTN, which I made it a bit more aggressive. I was surprised how negligible the cost was, but we could maybe play with it a little bit. Uh, where is it? LTN manager? I never even used that. I think it crashed on me or something. Uh... Update frequency. When set to greater than one, forces updates per tick to one. How fast stops and requests are updated. Higher numbers improve performance by spreading out updates over more ticks. And it's currently on one, so it's very aggressive. Updates per tick. What's the number of stops and requests updated per tick? Lower numbers increase performance. So this is on 20. Yeah, so we're updating every tick up to 20... Uh, up to 20 requests. So if we say... Well, let, let's put it to default. Every tick, we're only doing one schedule update. Maximum. 
see how that changes things. Mod logistic train network 1.6 to 2.4, 2.5, 2.7. So it's still peaking as high as circuit network, uh, but it definitely seems to be lower overall, quite a bit lower, actually. Uh, you might find, if you do something like this, though, that when you create, when the conditions are met for a train to come and pick this stuff up, uh, there might be a good number of seconds before the train is actually scheduled. I believe that mods have to run on the primary game thread, whereas things like regular train pathing can run on a separate thread. I have no idea. RV Park, welcome in, by the way, and Kimmy. Only need one inverse calculation for this. Inverse calculation. Oh, well, the thing is, do you mean the rebalancing thing? One way we've been doing it is limiting one of these to uh, 50 stacks and then just pushing everything through the other one. Uh, it just doesn't line up very well for what I'm trying to do over here where we drop off a full train load. Uh, it direct belts with filters straight into these. Um, but then, in some cases, we do need short trains to be able to pick them up. Or, like, the science. Um, but yeah, we could use, like, inserters... We could use one combinator to convert aeroframe scaffold on this side to some other... Uh, some other signals so that we could compare the two. Although that would be, uh, I don't know how I would do that here, where I've already got red and green wire on both sides. So this is maybe the best we can do here. You'll also save a small amount of UPS if you clean up Nalvis. Yeah, we've been doing that. We've got a redeem for that, actually. Any entity that has no power takes significantly more UPS than if powered... Really? I would have thought it would be the other way around. That's weird. Uh, what was I going to do with these modules? Yes, indeed. Let me just remember where I wanted to put these first. Oh yeah, in here. Phoenix would like a nuke. We'll do that very, very shortly. What is that emote? Uh, where are we going? I think I flew past it. Lithium chloride. Oh, it's saturated. I was not expecting that to happen so soon. I don't think we need I don't think this is our highest priority for our prod nines right now. Uh, maybe I'll put those in core fragment processing. How many do we need? 4 times 12, 24, 48. Well, there's no law against filling out a few of them for the moment. Okay. It is the only way to be sure. Where's my reward queue? Is this it? Yes. Uh, C Moogle wants an up. Wait, did I do this already? Upgrade name in base to gold. Okay, we'll come back to that. We've got two nukes. Uh, Phoenix and Dow Dow Twitch site. Burn it all down. Okay. Let's go. What should we nuke? How about this drop-off? Nuke number one. Phoenix, that one's for you. Fantastic. And... 
how about nuke number two? Right about here. Wunderbar. Did we upgrade C Moogle's name in base? And I just forgot to mark it off. Where the heck is C Moogle? Oh, there it is. I think uh I think the answer's no. There we go. We got there eventually. Cool, cool, cool. Is it saturated because of the slow train update? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, this was actually empty for a sec. Maybe. But this, we're missing extract here as well. It's about to run out. Not sure. Um, but yeah, we are all the way up to almost 40 UPS again. Very nice. Maybe I didn't set the requests high enough. 10k is two train loads. Nah, it should probably be okay. How long does it take to go through a train load? 173 per second is like three and a half stacks. So like 33 seconds or something. That's pretty rough. But it looks like we've shifted the bottleneck regardless. All of these have lithium chloride. We're just waiting on extract. So let's go put some prod nines at the first point of productivity bonuses for Vitamelange. And then I think our priority should absolutely be I say we take off and nuke the, entire site for you. the UPS. And thank you very much for the 15 months, Mr. Navka. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Uh, what are we nuking? How about these unpowered items right here, since apparently they use more UPS, not less. Fantastic. More gold, please. Name in base. Okie dokie. Uh, Mr. Nafka. Oh my god, I can't keep up. Uh, Mountsum, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How about here? Should I put a space? There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I was going to put our 29 prod nines over here. Because I think the spaceships uh, prefer to land on the left first. For some reason. So that's half of this one updated. And that'll have to do for now but we can speed it up, which will mean more stuff gets dropped in here as well. I'm out of efficiency nines. Okay. Maybe, how much power does this cost? Maybe for now we should just pay loads of power. 20 megawatt each. Uh, if all of these we're full prodded, we'd be looking at 12 times 28, uh, 240 megawatt. That is not insignificant, but like 
at our current scale, it, it, it it's kind of... Are we belt bottlenecking, though? 69 plus 8 plus 4. No, we're not... We shouldn't be belt bottlenecking, but... Where is this even going? Yeah, we're machine bottlenecking here. Hmm. Well, uh, I want to make sure that we can consume everything that gets dropped off here where the higher tier prod modules are. Uh, and I think the spaceships are further left. So I'm just going to shove speed nines in all the beacons on this side for the moment. What was our bottleneck for efficiency nines? I think it was quantum processors, which are looking for imacite crystal? Really? Imacite crystal? Uh, Marticus, thank you for the follow, if I didn't say so. Imacite crystal. There's loads of... Im there's... Oh, raw imacite. Where's the new build? Oh. Oh, I didn't turn this around. Well, that's embarrassing. Yeah, that, that doesn't help. It's not perfectly... Uh, it's pretty much perfectly balanced. Did I not tag this properly? Uh, Chris, that's right, because I actually forgot the train output for the powder... The fine imacite powder for a second there. But these four are our main outputs. And I'm not going to bother tagging the byproducts here. Okay, what's our rate for crystals? 13.7 uh, per second. Is that a lot? Oh, let's check historically. MSI crystal consumption, 50 hours, 623 per minute, 913 over the last 10 hours. So if we have like double that here, maybe it's fine. 823 per minute. Maybe I should prod this. Since this could bottleneck our efficiency nines. How much is this asking for? 10.9 per second. So the majority of our imazite crystals. Yeah, I think we should. How much have we got here right now? Nothing? Really? Did it just get picked up? No, we've literally got none left. I'm holding all of the tier 9s. Uh, unless there's some in the mall from earlier. Nope. So all of the tier 9 modules that we're not using right now are in my inventory. Uh, 65 speeds, 4 efficiency 9s, and nothing else. I think I will steal, how many was it? Eight? Yeah, we'll, we'll take eight uh, rod nines. It 
so that we'll get more crystals without making another build. Do we not have Factorio sounds today, or is that a problem on my s Oh, I see what happened. I turned down the volume uh, because we were doing 50 simultaneous launches of Space Probe rockets, and it gets very loud. Uh, looks like we've finished. Yes, we have. We got 46 Arcospheres out of 500 launches. Alright, let's pack this up. Actually, shouldn't have done that yet. Just mousing over it, making sure there's no more... Oh, I can check this way. Um... Arcosphere Collector Consumption. 1k... 500 over the last hour. Yeah, we did launch them all. Fantastic. Alright, give the bots a minute to sort that out. Let's head over and shift up. How much does this want? Imosite crystal. 78 per second. Oh, uh, 76. Okay, that's a lot. Uh, maybe I should do a second, second iteration of the new build here. Well, how, how much does this eat? Uh, it wants... Find imosite powder, imosite sulfide. Imosite sulfide is not a problem. Find imosite powder... is not a problem. Could I add another one? Assuming everything else is saturated. Uh, it'd be a bit awkward to fit the belts and stuff, I think. Uh, how, how much does this eat? 30 and less than 6. Like, more than half. Now I think we just copy past of this. Our, immers our immersion plate isn't even saturated. So... Sure. I guess let's make another one of these. Although, this time, this time I'm going to get rid of that uh, cryonite before it bugs me. I guess we don't, don't really need the prod nines for this. Whatever. Uh, construction train, decon train, either way. Let me pick this up. Actually, what I should do... Uh, what is this? Stone brick. Stone brick? Is this it? Brick path. Yeah, pick that up. Oh, you're helping. Well, that's one way to go about it. So what I'm going to do to get rid of this unsightly cryonite... No, don't! I forgot I didn't give it an inactivity condi condition. Okay. Wait for inactivity this time, please. Is that even going to trigger five seconds of inactivity? Yeah, no, we're good. Uh, and we're going to grab one of our spaceships. A nice big fat one. Where's our construction ship? Wait. Wait. Where is our construction ship? Well, let's sort this one out first. Uh, 
That should be fine. Uh, the how fast is this? Oh, it's parked. I am a derp. For some reason I was expecting some, like, buffer storehouses in the construction ship. What train mods do you have? Uh, LTN, Logistic Train Network, and Space Locomotive. And SEK2, that includes the, uh, Crestorio 2 includes the nucle Nuclear Locomotive as well. But I skipped this one. Since we have the Space Locos. Do vanilla trains not work in space? They do. Uh, they're just slower and have less cargo capacity. Space trains are just better, yeah. They are a little bit more of a logistical headache, um, but they're worth it. So basically, we need to feed them uh, charged space train power packs which for some reason only stack to 20 as opposed to 60 for the discharged ones. Uh, when they go into the locomotive and get consumed as fuel, uh, they actually get spat out as discharged. 99% of the... No, wait, that's wrong. 100% uh, of the time this will get spat out as a discharged space train power pack, but when it gets recharged... 1% of the time it is destroyed. Not actually destroyed, turned into a destroyed space train power pack. Uh, and that... why is this not being picked up? Because it has a provide stack threshold of 50. That's kind of high. Why is there discharged in here is a better question. But more to the point, uh, we then take that back here drop off the discharge no destroyed no this isn't this is not recycling where is the recycling i can't remember where i put it oh is this it yeah 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 uh destroyed space train power packs get dropped off here uh and turned refurbished turned back into space train power packs so it's a little bit more of a pain than just dropping, uh, for example, solid fuel into a train, which I did here just because it was way more convenient, uh, since we already had the solid fuel here, and I didn't want this one going via a depot, and it doesn't make a trip very often. I think this is our only locomotive train at this point. That might be wrong. I think the floor train, yeah, is also a locomotive. Uh, but yeah, you don't no you don't need to deal with the output from the fuel with these. Now where was I? Oh yeah, where's our construction ship? Please go to Hagen. And while we're doing that, the Arcosphere ship is still deconstructing this? Really? Because we only have 50 construction bots. That seems like a terrible idea. Yeah, that, that seems bad. Gonna update that when we get back. Okay. Uh, where is our construction ship? Now we have a handy trick if you want to get rid of irrelevant resources that. Uh, ruining the view. Just land a spaceship on it. What are you doing? No. No, don't empty the constr... 
Oh no. Welp. One little downside there. Uh, I guess if I put this in construction mode, I don't know if that's going to help. Let's just be quick here. And launch. And donate some bots, apparently. Whatever, it'll fix itself. Uh, please go back to Hagen Orbit. This is fine, indeed. Eagle Wolf, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, so let's grab our... Where the heck did I put it? Here it is. Tier 9 Immersium. Just make another block for that. Wait for inactive. Wait at least 30 seconds. Missing in action. Welcome in, by the way. Uh, do you have any tips for getting vulcanite off a planet that does not have water for oil processing for rocket fuel? Uh, yeah, I think basically the answer... What, what the heck is happening? Why can't I... Okay, there we go. Uh, basically what we ended up doing was sending ice. Lots and lots of ice. Although, like, ice is very, very dense. Uh, so, like, stacks to 200, and I think each ice gives you 100 water, if I recall correctly. Um, I think we've already deconstructed, like, the landing pad for it, though. Like, all of, all of this old crap needs to be removed. Uh... Let's see. We did light oil for solid rocket fuel. Not that we didn't need water, though. Yeah, somewhere or other there was a cargo landing pad into chemical plants or whatever to melt ice uh, to put water into the rail network. Owen, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see, uh, see you again. How are things? Uh, what's happening today? Um, what is happening today? We're putting in prod modules and shifting bottlenecks and stuff. Not too bad, thanks. A uh, little bit... I don't want to say under the weather, but... I've physically been a little bit better. So the usual then, plus prod modules. Yeah, we're trying to... Uh, we're trying to prod the right things to get more prod modules, among other things. Oh, we got the floor done. Let's bring our construction train over. Uh, and I think we'll just go for tier 6 modules. For the moment, for this build. Because Immersite is not precious. Uh, Vitamolange is. I really shouldn't have... Really shouldn't have... Uh, stolen those prod modules for this. But then again, I was hoping we would only need like two machines there. Indefinitely. Oops. No, I'm in the ship. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Okay. Let's get some more prod modules in here. Right. I thought I decided to speed this up. I'm pretty sure it doesn't belt bottleneck. 70 se Eight. Eighty-eight. It is actually a little bit belt bottlenecked. Huh. Okay. Did we get this built? Apparently we need a couple more bulk rail loaders. Oh. Oh, 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 I made changes since the blueprint. 
Uh, stop, stop the trains. Stop the trains. They're gonna no path now, right? No? Well, they will after picking up. I think. Uh, what was I doing? We need to update this part. Should have done a copy paste. Uh, I don't know exactly what I changed. Is all of that except the train stops just an ad? Yes, it is. Cool, cool, cool. That's easy enough. And we got the modules in. Seems good. All right, one more lap. Uh, no. One more lap, please. And that should be finished. Uh, but I don't want this filling before we've got both containers. Also, this is apparently supposed to have No, it doesn't need a module. It's already under a beacon. What the... Oh, the copy-paste put the signals back. That's fine. So the usual then, uh, shifting bottlenecks every stream. Yes. What tiers of prods are we working with? Nine. Yeah. Uh, six are quite ubiquitous and have been for a while. We're, we're prioritizing prod nines in various places so that we can get more prod nines. We already put prod nines in all of the centrifuges that make Vitalik reagent directly, uh, which is not necessarily the most efficient place to put the prod nines to get the most out of Vitamelange, uh, except that if we're going to like update the very first step, we would need uh, how many? Theoretically, 72 times 4 uh, prod modules. But everything goes through, uh, basically everything goes through reagent, and it's only two prods per machine. The enigmatic evil, welcome in. Uh, so yeah, we already put prod nines all the way through here, except only this one has prod nines for the epoxy. I did uh, increase the priority, the drop off on this one. I guess I should. Uh, prioritize pickup from these two as well. Since they have higher tiers associated with them. I guess you need a lot of Vidim Lunge. Yeah, big understatement. Uh, for your 3 SPM target, yeah. You need insane amounts of Vidim Lunge just in general. Uh, I'm, I'm sure we'd be a lot better off if we weren't hauling core fragments for Vidim Lunge. But still. We're also short on lithium. Never mind. Uh, lithium chloride. I think we already weighted these. Yeah. Half a stack of vulcanite block before it triggers a delivery. Like we're down to half a stack of vulcanite block. Uh, glass moves faster, so it's like two stacks. Extract is three stacks. And lithium chloride, when we're down to one whole train load, we summon another train. But we're still seeing it uh, empty. Even though we've got lots here. We did just recently... Um... Wow, there's four trains moving this stuff right now? We did just recently slow down LTN because it eats some UPS, but I may have overdone it. Because it's like a train every 30 seconds or something to keep the 
lithium chloride flowing here, in theory. Of course, we have also run out of bitter melange extract, so maybe not, maybe not as big of an issue. How fast does it eat the extract? 138 per second, more than half a stack. This is 200 plus 103, 303. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 500, and 3, 4, 5, and a half. 505 and a half out of like 640 stacks. I'm pretty sure we can bump up the request for... for lithium chloride a bit. Like that. Just built my first middle lounge build and I noticed from FNEI, you don't need much Vita extract. Uh, do you mean epoxy or extract? But oh, wait, Vita extract. No, you mean you need tons of extract. What do you mean? Vita melange extract, yeah. Go through crazy amounts of this. Last 10 hours, 10k per minute. That's average. Uh, spice. Outside for making the extract. Uh, I see? Or... No, I don't. Wait. Blue Lightning, thank you very much for 22 months. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I don't suppose we've come close to the train threshold. Oh, we have, kind of. Uh, doesn't it take like five train loads to make one train load with this? So reagent is like the main thing we have to be concerned about here. Kind of ignore epoxy as just being more reagent still. But if we just look at reagent to self-sealing gel, it's two to one. Stack size 50 to stack size 50. So two train loads makes one train load. Right? Four makes two? Yeah, it should be. Shouldn't we have made some more prod modules by now then? Uh, I guess not. Maybe there's somewhere else demanding self-sealing gel. Uh, can we search ingredient? We can. I love this mod. Factory search self-sealing gel as ingredient. Nope, this is the only place. Literally the only consumer of self-sealing gel. Maybe we should have, in hindsight, built this as part of this. But I'm sure there's, like, other uses... Probably the mole. Yeah, lots of mole stuff. Well, a, a little bit of very high tier mole stuff. Uh, I could just trigger an early delivery for the self sealing gel. We'll get like 10 prod nines instead of 13.8 or something. This will be a good example of how long LTN can potentially take. To trigger a delivery since we changed the settings. Unless the conditions are not met. We've definitely got 50 stacks here. And we've got zero self-sealing gel over here, right? Uh, yeah, zero. Asking for 100 stacks, uh, uh, request threshold 100 stacks, we're missing 110. Long trains, 
And this one's short or long trains. 50 stacks. What's going on here? Surely LTN isn't this slow. Then again, if you make the update slow, it is. It actually is. Okay, I think we overdid it. Wait, we're not like... No, we're not that short on LTN trains. Okay, uh, we definitely overdid slowing down LTN. Which was kind of deliberate, uh, as an example. It did give us like three or four UPS back. Straight away. So, updates per tick. We had it on 20 before. Let's try, let's try 10 as opposed to like 1. And we're probably going to see... Mod, logistic, train, network. Number go up a bit here. Up to 4? It's probably playing catch up. Alright, let's put that back where it's supposed to be. And let's have some prod modules. Should be like uh, 10 to 12 from this. I'm pretty sure we're insert a bottleneck. Yes. That's fine. Are we out of... No, we're not. Alright. It's still going to take a little while, even though the items are there now. Uh, so what are we going to do with, like, up to 16 prod modules? Probably just put them in here. Why am I still holding onto these ones? We can almost, but not quite, uh, get this block all on prod nines. Uh, I was also looking for efficiency nines. That's why we were fixing uh, imasite crystals. Did we finish fixing imasite crystals? Yes, but no, because I forgot to turn these around. Uh, immerse. There we go. Crystal, immense powder, immense plate, gear, and beam. Maybe I should just have one tag to represent all this. But then if I forget the multifunction of this block later on, that's going to be a lot more descriptive. Uh, there's no speeds in this. Because I didn't module it. Advanced furnace. Well, it is moduled, but that recipe doesn't take speed module, uh, doesn't take prod modules. And this one uh, doesn't actually need any modules because we need six machines to keep up with this. We need six machines to almost keep up with this. And it can't take prods. What's going on here? Destroyed box. What? Uh, we don't have a filter here. Oh, there's no construction bots. Okay, fine. 
Where's the train? Here it comes. Just go pick that up on the way back, please. Fantastic. Alright, so Crystal is currently 1.6, 1.7k per minute. And climbing. Wait, no, it's steady. What was climbing? Bryanite. About 1.7k per minute. Uh, this build, which I'm sure is super over-engineered, wants 76 per second. 119 material testing packs per second, with a stack size of what? 5? 10. 19 stacks per second? Oh, sorry. 12. 12 stacks per second. That's still pretty ridiculous. We could refactor this one to use like one or two machines probably. Not need sushi belts. Not need uh, 32 machines. How fast is this? 119 per second. So what if we have a testing pack? There's only one way to make them, right? Yeah. Uh, testing pack tuned for speed and efficiency. One machine is 27.5 crafting speed is 9.9 .9 per second. Just a little bit less than one stack per second. Meaning we could probably just have like two or three of these next to... Yeah, we, we, we can definitely reduce this to a... A small build. Which, of course, makes it way easier to pay the prod modules for it. For the final version. So we're going to do... Actually, let me do this. Actually, actually... I should have a decom planner for all rail. Curved rail... And rail. That way, when I do this, it doesn't remove the signals, which means there isn't nearly as much time spent recalculating the pathing for every train in the universe. And we can swap this in and out faster. All right, we're going to need a drop off in the usual place. And we're going to do three direct insertions. And see how that looks. Oh, I think we need a long arm for, for this part. Because it has to snap to the rail grid. Yeah, that's too close. Alright. And that's going to go here. And we have nice small build... Direct belts. Come to think of it, it is going to be very high throughput and the output train can block the input train. But I don't think we need input trains that often. Uh, let's see. A thousand copper plate. Uh, I stand corrected. No, wait, that's like 10.1 minutes per train for the, for iron and copper, right? Hundred, hundred, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So it's like 10 minutes per train for these two. Uh, Immersite Crystal is twice as fast because it's stack size 50. Rare Metals is also a train every 10 minutes. And Plastic Bar... I think Plastic Bar is 100 stack size in this version. Yeah, it is. Uh, so a train every 10 minutes, 10 minutes, and 5 minutes. Uh, 10, 10, 10, and 5 minutes uh, for the three drop-offs here. So I don't think we need to be that concerned about the traffic here. Uh, we are picking up... Uh, 10 hundred. A thousand is one train load. Uh, 29.7 per second. We're, we would have a train picking this up every 33.6 seconds. If everything's going fast. And we're not saturating. Uh, testing packs. That's not too bad. I guess. Alternatively, I could not do the input train momentarily blocking the output train or vice versa. I could do multiple train stops for output. More storage, more train throughput. Um, that sounds like a good idea, actually. How should we lay it out? I could do the output station trains coming from another corner. Yep. I mean, they're already doing it with our current layout. I, I think I'll build this in the same spot, probably. And then we don't even have to move this at all. Um, this is LTN, right? Yeah, we already patched it in. I think that's fine. How about... What if each machine... If we're only picking this up with long trains... And I think we are, yeah. What if we have, like, each machine go straight to a splitter? So, like... A little bit like what we've been doing for, for these. In fact, we could completely steal that layout. Uh, then we're kind of using this as well. Okay, it's going to be a little bit different. So, something like this, perhaps? Can we fit it that way? Not quite. A little bit further apart. Or at least move the closest one further. So the usual looks something like this. If we're going to use splitters. But, well, I could do two on that side and one on that side. Oops. That would have to go there and, oh, does that just, does that just work? I think it does. That's actually pretty tidy. So this one can consume from both sides. This consumes from this side. This consumes from this side. That should sort itself out. 
Then again, this is only this one is like taking from both and outputting to both. This one's taking from this side, outputting to both. This one, mm. uh, it, it should probably be okay. Why are your blocks called LCCL blocks? Uh, locomotive, cargo, cargo, locomotive. As in... So-called long trains. Uh, that, that's what I'm calling them this run. The ones with two cargo wagons. Okay. So... Yeah, we could... Since the output throughput is so much faster than the input throughput, uh, we could, like, maybe do it like this. And that's loads of storage for testing packs as well. One, two, one trains, yes. Uh, we should be able to fit the signals. Yeah, that's easy. I think. Yep. Fantastic. And that goes there. Cool. I guess. I don't know, it's kind of weird that we're using but not using this space. I could just put the train stops further down. Like, all the way down here, for example. And the undergrounds reach there without any issue. Just like that. I once made an arty train, but it won't fit into Twitch message limit. It was la 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 la. I see, I see. Maybe... Maybe if our output is this crazy, we should have the, tr the output's train stops at different corners. Actually. So instead... You know, for traffic reasons. So instead it's going to be like... Because we're already, like, not using this whole block. So we put one of these over here. One of these over here. One of these over here. And just... Uh, put this wherever we want. How fast are these machines individually? A stack per second, less than that. So, like, wait, can can one inserter keep up with this? Uh, I think technically it can, but given the behavior of inserters, it's a little bit sketchy. Let's test it. We're going to do set super inserters, set filters blacklist, read from the container they're putting in, and that's not working because there's five inputs. God damn it. All right, we're going to have to do this the slightly more tedious way. Nope, that, stop, 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 stop. Alright, so how about this one is crystals, plastic, iron, uh, copper, and rare metals. Remove unfiltered items. And I 
guess we're going to have to... Program in a specific limit for each one of these. Plastic. Uh, less than a hundred, I guess. Just do that for all of them. Change the item. And rare metals. Okay. Alright, so there's plenty of inputs. Uh, and then we're gonna... Cheat. Remove the outputs. And see if the inserters keep up. Particularly the ones on the sides. It looks like... Oof. It came close when it really didn't have to, because all of these were, like, in sync. Hmm. I think... Well, it looks like it is actually consistently managing at a top-tier modules. And realistically, we're going to be oversaturating the output or limited by uh, physical inputs. So this is probably fine. And then we're just going to go... Splitter. Uh, and you can go like this. How much output is this? Less than 10, right? Yeah, less than 10 per second. Even a yellow belt, uh, yellow belt wouldn't be saturated for the output. Uh, and then we're gonna do like this. Oops. And... Uh, I guess for this one... Probably like that. Except this would have to... I could grab it from this one and push it over here. And this can go straight up this way. Oh, it's just... It's almost long enough, kind of? Whatever. And then that's going to go over there. I think that goes there. I'd rather do it like this. Yeah, that's fine. And it's a little hard to see. But that goes over there. Okay, cool. So we've got copious storage and three whole train stops for output on different roundabouts. So it shouldn't be much of a traffic issue because it's so fast. We're looking at almost 30 stacks per second. 29.7 stacks per second if this is going at full speed with just with just three machines. That seems pretty good. It's definitely going to be a bit more UPS efficient. But I guess I can just steal from what we've already got over here. For the LTN settings. Yeah, that's fine. And this one... The same. Oh, 
Okay. And the only chore in updating this is going to be... Clearing out all of this mess. Um, how about we disable the drop-off? Melt all of this back in here. Turn these around. Make them unconditional. And there'll probably be enough room for whatever's left in here. Oh, but for now? Since we know it's bottlenecked on Imosite Crystal, because that's what we were short on earlier, and because the stack size is smaller than the others, uh, why don't we just... get it to consume the last of the Imosite Crystal. Oh, this is already saturated? Well, that's not what I was expecting right now. I'm sure it won't last too long. Are your machines... minimum energy? Most of them are, yes. Because you end up with, like... say... 29 crafting speed for... many gigawatts? Or... 26 crafting speed for less than a gigawatt, or like 100 megawatt, or less than that. Uh, I might be exaggerating a little bit, but it is very much like that. Corvax, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. How low can UPS go before being an issue? It depends on your tolerance, I suppose. All right, uh, so I guess we'll let that run until it runs out of uh, crystal. Which is kind of being bottlenecked on demand for testing packs upstairs at this point. Oh. Do we only have... no, no, no. I was going to say, do we only have one train taking this stuff upstairs, but that's not true. Because we've got, like, three schedules that move the testing packs. When UPS turns into SPU? SPU. S science per unit? Units? Seconds per unit? Yes, I see, I see seconds per update. It literally did do that um, when we used the uh, what was it? Uh, when we used the anti-biter virus capsules uh, for one thing we, we were using them on a very big planet full of biters uh, but the other thing is I think because it de-evolves the biters it was actually affecting biters on every surface in the game. Uh, that has biters. I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. Beldak would like a nuke, see what it does for UPS. Oh, I forgot to clear this. Okay, uh, how about over here? I recognize this. This is part of the old, uh, crushing block. What a mess. A very compact mess, but a mess nonetheless. That tree just popped in and out. I, say I think. We take yeah, it did. Oh my goodness. It is the only way to be sure to be sure. Beldak, this one's for you. We've had one nuke, yes, but how about a second and third nuke? Shackcat Eagle Wolf. Would like some nukes. Let's go. Oop. Let's... What What did I just... Okay. Don't need to bring up notepad. I have no idea how I keyboard shortcutted that. I say we take off and nuke the entire site. That's two. Shutcut and... Oh, oh my goodness. 
Okay. Uh, next one's for Shack Cat. It's the only way to be it's sure. Only way to be sure. Let's do these containers down here. I say we take off and nuke the entire site. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna be busy for a little while. It's the only way to be sure. Gazownik, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Boop. Uh, that was for Shack Cat. Turtle O Jackets. All the popular kids are doing it, indeed. The best way to make decisions. Uh, let's nuke this, I guess. And next is Krasis. You'll note uh, the big pauses when a nuke happens are when we're removing rail signals. Because it forces every train in the game to repath, even though they're on different surfaces. Uh, I guess let's nuke the drop-off over here. The lithium chloride. Lithium chloride and out comes lithium, I guess. Lithium... Wait, what? I'm confused. No, that's where we make the lithium chloride. Uh, I'm lost. Send help. Okay, here we go. That one's for Krasis. Gazownik and AF Killer. AFK Killer. I say we take off and nuke the entire site. And Captain True, welcome in. Okay. How about this one? At what point do we say there isn't really anything left that's worth nuking and we should actually go to Nalvis and decon everything? It's going to take a while to get there, but it's going to be kind of a... Uh, not black and white, right? I say we that take one's for Gazownik. It's the only way to be sure. And AFK Killer. How about this? Nuke the uranium. What could go wrong? I say we take anywhere with trains or signals. Wait, where did our nuke go? It's the only way to be sure. What? What? Nani? What? What? What just happened? It's inside the chest? It got cons- Did I aim it at the delivery cannon chest? Is that why? No way. No, surely not. Let's aim it at the cannon chest. That's amazing. Oh my god. Clip it. Alright, let's nuke in the middle here. Okay. Uh, anywhere with trains or signals. We did hit some signals. Is that okay for Captain True? I don't think we've got any trains left. Literally. Yeah, no, I think we got them all. Some people kept requesting to hit trains, so we did. Okay. Did that, like, triple explode? I wasn't actually paying attention. I guess we can find out. Bought it, indeed. Better not open it. Midden, welcome in. Alright, let's aim over here. We're gonna put one in... One of the containers. Okay. And then... 
uh, and then we'll nuke this and see if this... Wait, 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 no. Uh, let's nuke a little bit further away, so it's very clear if there's two explosions. No, there isn't. It just gets deleted like any other item. Okay. Uh, so that was for Captain True and Immo. Welcome in, Immo. Up goes the weasel, indeed. Uh, and Moonball would like a nuke. Let's see. We're not aiming for the delivery cannon chest this time. I, I love that... Like, that's hilarious. The weapon delivery cannon is literally just... It, it is a delivery cannon, you see. That's how it was coded, I guess. So presumably it would do the same thing with a pile driver. I can't think of any reason you would want to do that for actual utility. Uh, but you could do it. Alright, that one's for Moonball. Fantastic. Uh, so where were we? We've got no prod modules left right now. There might be some upstairs. There's 12. Yeah, that's right. Uh... Yeah, we could put some more prods here, I guess. But weren't we working on something else? Oh, that's right. We wanted to refactor boxes. And it looks like it's as empty as it's going to get right now. Uh, we need to stop. We need to stop. It's as simple as that. Stop recycling... Uh, all of these items. Put them back in this container. Or these containers. And that'll make it nice and easy to redo this. Alright, let's bring in the decon train first. Actually, I kind of want to redo the floor first. Grab the floor train. Park it right about here. Decon train is going to be a close second. Wait here till full. And I think I'll take a break after this. Once we get the testing packs down to three machines, possibly for the entire playthrough. Where's our... Um... Oh, are you going to be blocking? Yeah, you are. Okay, go over here instead. What's your science per minute goal for this playthrough? Uh... 20? 3 per second, right? Yeah. So 20 per minute. Oh, that's not even 30 seconds. Well, I mean, the 30 second wait is because sometimes... Sometimes the bots take their sweet time jumping out. Once the inactivity timer is active... Or reset, don't need to worry. Doesn't sound like much, but in SE terms it is. Yeah, it it kind of is. Like it that means a ludicrous amount of Vitamelange, for example. 
All right, you may go. And once you're out of range... Oh, that's why that would... That's probably why the trees were popping in and out. Uh, and why I hadn't seen it before. Because I somehow toggled x-ray vision on and off. All right, so decon train on a guy. Grab all of that. And we're going to keep you in range because we're going to be reusing some of this. Also, I may as well grab those resources and put them back in. Is your VIT processing all Tier 9 modulated now? No, we're just getting started. Uh, we have Tier 9 all of the centrifuges uh, and this one uh, advanced chemical plant for epoxy. Uh, and we've prioritized these pickup and drop offs as opposed to these other ones. Uh, we have. A good chunk, a bit more than 50% of these are prod 9 uh, And the, the spaceship prefers, the spaceships prefer to drop off at the left one for some reason. Uh, so it's always the ones further to the right that are empty if we're short on four frags. So for the moment we've like super sped up, like to the point of belt bottlenecking. Um, even though, I'm not sure why, but the output belts here are always slow. Uh, but yeah, most of our Vitamolange is going through here for the moment. Uh, so we've got these prodded a bit better. But since we had few prod modules to start with, um, everything goes through... Well, most everything goes through Vitalik Reagent, so we prodded those, because it's only two per machine. Alright, uh, so let's grab our rather simple looking new build. Place it down there. Uh, realize what we've done. Try to do better this time. Uh, and we're going to need the construction train for these anyway. Ah! <clears throat> Oops. What are the odds of a train being here of all places at any one moment? Oh, okay. Uh, homeworld bad. Closest spaceship is probably fine. Remind oh. Yourself. That, that is close. Okay. Killer. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. That spaceship could have kidnapped me if the timing was a little bit worse. Okay. Okay. I'm not startled. You're startled. Uh, it's up here. Just don't get hit by a train yet. Ouch, indeed. <laughs> Made you jump? Yeah, it really did. I knew I was taking a risk, but my god, that was perfectly timed. That was like some I want to be the guy stuff. Oh, I have a button for that. A little bit late, but we got there eventually. <sighs> you don't expect Factorio to get the blood pumping, but there it is. Okay, please don't kill me. Wow, that was closer than I would have liked again. There's a trick to... hold on. Control E, zoom out, control E. Yeah, now I can see further. Okay, that's better. Zoomed out beyond maximum. 
by going into the editor. Yoink. And we want thruster suit. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. Could we please? Oh, I'm not carrying the tier nine modules right now. Let's just put tier sixes in here for the moment. And I just wanted to grab these, which I probably... I, I bet I could have actually done it from over here. Yeah, there was actually no need. There was actually no need to risk my life like that. I can even fit everything in the decon train in my inventory. Bruh. Choo choo, indeed. Uh... Okay, we need a construction train. I might make this a priority for Prod 9s just because we need so few of them and a lot depends on testing packs. Why do you have windmills up? Uh, because we used to have them as part of... Uh, part of the, like, default rail block. I was going to have artificial trees and some nice, like, stone and stuff as well, but we ended up not bothering because we'd have to... we'd have to dedicate a significant chunk of UPS to pollution clearing, basically. Um, but yeah, supposedly, although I really haven't seen the evidence for it, uh... Uh, windmills are actually kind of UPS costly, but haven't really been seeing the difference when we remove them. Okay, uh, could we get some tier 6s in here? I'm sure that's probably enough for now. On the other hand, don't we have a few prod 9s? We've got 12. We've got exactly 12. Okay, fine. We'll bring those downstairs. Make that a requester. And I'm pretty sure we don't have any others. Oh, I didn't put signals here. Not really much of an issue with traffic here. Fine. I like how T-Hack zoomed in right before the train happened, giving <laughs> just that little bit less warning. I mean, yeah, but we're probably measuring it in nanosecond. Oh, now we're getting speed nines. Nice timing. Bruh. It's fine. Anyway, uh... Oh, perfect timing with this train as well. Alright, there's our 12 modules. We'll toss them into the mall downstairs. No, don't do that. Uh... Wait, what? Oh, this is the construction train. Let's just ride back. I do wish I had a few efficiency nines, then we could complete that build for once and for all. For once and all? All for one and once for all? What do we need for nines? Uh, quantum processors, which is crystals. Uh, which is why we're prod nining the testing packs in the first place, because they eat imasite crystals. Alternatively, we could prod the crystals, but that would be more modules. 
Also, Emicide itself is quite, uh, quite abundant. So maybe I shouldn't worry about it, actually. Yeah, I should probably just put these in the, uh... What? 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 Where did the... Where did my nines go? Oh, I forgot about that chest. Oh, we do have a handful of efficiency nines. Okay, uh, how about this then? Bring those over here, please. There we go. So we got 66, 12, and 4. What's the ratio for this? Uh, 13 and 7, right? Now, I think I'm just going to focus on Vidamalange first. Every nanosecond counts? Technically? Well, I mean, if the game's rendering at 36 frames per second, probably not. You can have a game rendering more slowly uh, then the inputs react, but, and that can actually make a difference that you can kind of feel, but yeah, no, I don't think in this case, speeding train that we barely even saw, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. Uh, I can at least efficiency these better. So this is still, like, too fast for the belts, right? 60... No, it's not. Cool. But why... Why am I always seeing the belt bottleneck here happen regardless? Probably because... Uh, because this doesn't consume it as fast. Wait, what? 96 per second, that's more than a purple belt. Oh, because this was ratio... Because I put super speeds here. Wait, why is this one output saturated? Uh, because this one's output saturated. And this goes here, and this is output saturated. Huh? Did I make this eat more than a purple belt? I did. More than a purple belt of spice. Okay, why is this one not running? Because you're actually bottlenecked on bloom. Uh, so each of these are one-to-one -one and direct belted. These ones are input bottlenecked. Or at least some of them are, and this one's just saturated. That seems weird. Because spice is saturated. Because output of spice here is saturated. Okay. Uh... Maybe this could be improved. I kind of want to see what it looks like when everything's moduled properly, though, before I make changes, because we did design this for tier 9s. And 
And I'm pretty sure, like, the 96 vitamolange per second that this theoretically can consume is faster than it's actually going to be. We only need seven. Seven more prod nines for this to all be prod nine. For our highest priority drop off. We could... You know what? We should also output this to... Oh, I turned all of that around? Uh, I'll put this to the rail network again. And same thing over here. What? Why are you like this? So confused. Okay. So this one can now supply all the others. We're not just direct belting. That should work out a bit better for now. Should probably give it some time, rather than watching this paint dry. What should we work on in the meantime? Oh, Self-sealing gel's not as slow as I thought it was. Actually, let's look at reagent over the past however many hours. Look at, look at the change in area under the graph over the last 10 hours or 50 yeah that's that's a lot more cool i actually said i was going to take a break a while ago didn't i did we finish this build yes but no there we go Considering how responsive that was, uh, I think we probably found a... It might be a little bit of a fluke because of the timing, but I think we probably found a happy medium for how aggressive LTN is in updating schedules. This one has no copper. Oh, I didn't rebalance these. Got distracted by the whole death thing. Do I have enough? No, I already put those somewhere else. Okay. Uh, I was going to rebalance all of these. Copper. Iron. Uh, crystals. And rare metals. And plastic. Nope. At least it didn't spill. There we go. That might get a bit imbalanced sometimes, I guess, theoretically, but it should be able to sort itself out. I could always make the drop-off from the middle one that can consume from both sides, uh, the pickup rather, as a slightly higher priority than these two. That'll probably keep it balanced. Also, we're only asking for, like, for, oh, I see what we did here, like, 1.3 train loads for these four, and, like, 1.6 or something, 1.8 for Imosite Crystal, because it's got a smaller stack size, but everything gets consumed at the same rate. That seems fine. 13 times 4 is 52. 
Oh, sorry, 520. Uh, plus whatever this is. 170. Is 690. Uh... Did I ratio this wrong so that it can actually get over supplied? Possibly? How long does it take to go through? 8.25 per second. So we've got 36 and a third seconds to deliver iron, for example. Uh, it's probably fine. Alright, I'm going to need a short break. Pretty long overdue, actually. Let's do some words on stream. Right after I set it up. Smurf. Welcome in. This is some advanced Factorio. Yeah, it's a very, very deep mod. Thanks for the stream. I'm off for now. All right, take care. Missing. Copy the pasta. And where does this go? There we go. Oh, wow. There's only like an hour left today. Yeah, I, I did wait a bit too long to take a break. Alright, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon. Tinoz, welcome in. SEK2 is like Uber Factorio. Yeah, it kind of is. What is this? Uh, well, I guess we'll never know. Okay, it's fine. It looks okay. Uh, back in a few minutes.
Okay, how we doing? Oh, smashing. Fantastic. Skip three levels once more. Alright, we'll put that away for now. Let's continue with Factorio. And... Is this train, like, stuck here? No. A little bit, yes. Yeah, I thought I uh, set these a bit too high. So we're trying to squeeze five... Uh, five train uh, five different items in here we've got 640 stacks but we want to set the request threshold high enough we want to set the requests high enough that a train comes before we run out these four are set so that we've got like 30 something seconds to get a train here before it runs out of items uh, and yet the train is here with plenty of time passing. Um, not entirely sure why, but yeah, the total of all of these, if we was to somehow drop off the maximum of all of these at the same time, we'd be like a good 50 to 100 stacks over. This is why the builds are so simple. LTN removes the challenge of feeding a dozen inputs. Well, we had a huge sushi build for this before, but as we go to the end game and get like advanced assembly machines and tier 9 modules, for example, uh, we can roughly calculate that a lot of our builds can literally just be like three machines. Uh, so instead of like, what's a, what's an older example? Yeah, instead of something like this, uh, we can just do direct insertion. Where's a big sushi build like the one that we just deleted? Well, we've got one upstairs. We've got a few upstairs. Uh, like here we've got some sushi... The quantum processes. Uh, but yeah, when the speed modules are so strong uh, and the machines are so strong that you can just literally cover the entire playthrough with like one or three or six machines or something, uh, yeah, direct insertion makes a ton of sense. Until we decide to aim for 300 SPM? No. Not with this playthrough, anyway. Like, uh, the gimmick of... No, F your stack size 20, we're still bringing the core fragments straight back home. Uh, does add a lot more spaceship throughput uh, in, in terms of stack size that's required to keep up with a certain target. And that's pretty costly for UPS. Is there any way to stop, uh, stop why rocket fuel engine working when ions are on? You would have to restrict the flow of fuel, uh, to the rocket engines. But if the only reason that you have liquid rocket fuel on your spaceship, if it's a hybrid, uh, liquid rocket fuel and ion, you don't actually need the liquid rocket fuel engines, weirdly enough. Uh, I don't know if it's in the description somewhere. Uh, let's see. No? I think it's in uh, the Informatron spaceships. What the? How about not the editor? Here we go. Uh, booster tanks. Landing example? No. Where does it mention that you need booster tanks? It 
The booster tank is what stores the fuel you need to get into space and provides the VTOL component. So, basically, you can build a ship like this. Uh, floor. Ion engine. Uh, tank. What the? What? I'm so confused. Tank. Maybe something like this? What? Why am I clicking? There's no rocket booster tank here. Uh, just as an example. Oh, that doesn't line up so well, does it? Well, it, it's fine. Some pipe for resupply. Okay, so you could have a ship kind of like this. Never mind the defenses or whatever. Uh, the spaceship rocket booster tank is only going to consume liquid rocket fuel to get on and off planet or whatever you're doing. Um, the ion booster tank cannot be used to get on and off planet, uh, so it won't be. Alternatively, if you do want to have both types of engines, you would need some kind of logic... Uh, and just like a pump to control it. So something like this, perhaps. Uh... So you connect that up. I don't know how you're going to decide when you do or don't want uh, the liquid rocket fuel to go to the engines. Uh, I guess you can just read from the spaceship console output. Um, distance signal. Yeah, if distance signal is anything but... What? Negative 1 if arrived, negative 2 if anchored, negative 3 if no destination set. So basically, if distance signal is positive then you don't want to pump uh, liquid rocket fuel to the spaceship rocket engine. But then, why have the engine at all? Like, may maybe... I don't know. Since you now know that the rocket booster tank uh, has this VTOL component built in, I can't imagine that you would need the engines for anything, actually. But maybe I'm just not thinking of every use case. Raise Symmetria, indeed. I've yet to face a UPS challenge. Looking forward to it. I wouldn't look forward to it. Technically, if your ship only jumps from one spot on the surface to another, it doesn't need any engines to move. Uh, true, yeah. You could, if you really want to, uh, instead of trains, for example, you could shove everything into little spaceships with nothing but ro liquid rocket booster tanks that just take off and then anchor at some specific uh, target clamp ID. That would... That would need an awful lot of liquid rocket fuel, though, even on pretty small planets. I guess you could do it with antimatter engines. Reminds me of my upgradable ship design when only the best engine type was working. Only best engine type was working. Uh, I don't understand. Anyway, what should we do with the rest of our time today? 
Uh, do we have any more nines? There's 30 speeds. I doubt there's anything else. Yeah, no. What is all this? Holmium cable. Where, where is it going? Oh. I forgot about these temp storage chests. And now it's going to pollute the train. I guess we'll just do that. I should really refactor these and not have them connected to the mall, which they were never supposed to. We needed solar panels like pretty early on in building the uh, the orbital base. I'm sure we could get away with just one machine for multispectral mirrors for the whole playthrough. Nice to see all this full. That's good. Especially the Naquium cubes. Haven't had to worry about Naquium for quite a while, actually. Not really. We did see this empty at one point not that long ago, but... Uh, it's obviously pretty saturated for the moment. What's science doing? Still no Astro 4? Wait, 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 wait. Astro... Act 4. Last 10 hours. Uh... A bit over an hour ago there was a spike. Of production. It probably didn't reach the provide threshold. Uh, Astro Pack 4s. We've got 48? What? Why are you like this? There's no 3s. There's no 2s. There's no broad catalogs. Why are there no broad catalogs? There are broad catalogs. But wait, wait, what do you mean? You're joking. Oh my god. Wait, how have we come this far without running into this? What? 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 I... Okay. We should really refactor those bills at some point, but for now we'll just fix it. I don't... I guess there's not that many researchers that need lots of astro site. No, there are, because... What? Haven't we been doing zone discovery? For, that's zone discovery is tier one. This is tier three. We've done loads of deep space zone discovery and targeted zone discovery. How how could we have come this? Wait, does this actually stop it? Gravitational lensing data gets poured in here, and this produces. No, I don't think this is the reason that we don't have broad catalogs. They're, they've just been slower than they should have been if we're not resource bottlenecked. Gravitational lensing data is here. Okay. There's a little bit in here. You're... You're kidding. Wait, no, this is the grav lensing. What is this? No, that's grav wave. Grav wave data. Yeah, we don't have... Huh? Huh? Okay, requesting, uh, I think, I think it's 120 stacks of gravitational lensing data. There's none here. And over here we have, that's wave data, that's why. Gravitational lensing data. Is it broken? This is one of our builds that's like perfectly synchronized as all things should be. Astrometric data is the only thing requested here, and we've got it. 
What? Is this a logic error? What's the problem? The inputs are saturated. Um... What? If, if everything equals 12,001... Wait, no. 1,201, right? 1,201. And we've got this one signal so that a null signal doesn't equal true. And we've got... 24 times 50. 1,200. Okay, so does one of these have, like, 51 or something? Even though there's... A restriction? Why are you not full? What What is this? You... What... What are you... I think I know what happened. I think I know what happened. Um, I think a short train dropped off uh, those data cards. And its fuel had been consumed. Like it, the energy in the space train power packs. And bulk rail unloader stole them. Uh, took the discharge packs and then we didn't put a filter over here so the discharge pack found its way into the container but I so I guess the reason that we couldn't see what was happening here is like the discharge packs were here basically I think I think space... I think loaders are a bunch of inserters with a trench coat, right? Or at least one version of them is. Uh, I think these were being held by invisible inserter. Yep, there it goes. Glorious. Look at that sink. I thought I saw that inserter out of sync, but the machines seem to be in sync. Oh, is there like a percentage? There is. Junk data card. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. So that's fixed. Uh, I don't know if we put the belts here. We did not. Are we still carrying regular space belt? Yeah, we are. Alright. Even though we should probably refactor these already, let's just fix that for the moment. K2 loaders are vanilla coded, but smaller. I see. All planned, so the machines operate in sync. Uh, yeah. So basically, we... We do direct insertion from a container, so that there, there isn't, like, the inserters... Do I have an inserter here? Yeah. The, there isn't, like, the variance on the inserters grabbing a bunch of items from the belt with the timing. Uh, nor are they, like, stealing from each other or anything like that. Uh, and then we just give the containers one stack each and wait till they're all full so that we can be sure that every container has uh, input available for every inserter to swing at the same time. Pretty straightforward, really. Uh, put this back. Tier 3 speed modules. How quaint. Should we speed this up? 10.33 per second. It's probably way faster than we need already. I don't know if I'm going to refactor the space builds, to be honest. Like, there's... We could keep... We could keep this playthrough up for, like, another year, I imagine. Well, we have to draw the line somewhere. 
I really wish, in hindsight, uh, that I had gone through... It, it wouldn't have been possible in some cases, because uh, advanced assembly machines and much worse uh, advanced chemical plants, you don't have access to them for a while. Uh, so you can't exactly build this to begin with and then put better modules in it later at lower tech. But I, I do wish I had done what I did like over here, for example. Where... What's this called? A server, right? Even if we don't have the advanced machines, we left room to upgrade to the advanced machines. And calculate and ratio everything for tier 9 modules. Um, yeah, I wish I hadn't spent so much time making builds like this. Like... I mean, to some extent, we need to make sure we have the resources while we're powering through the game, but it's such... It, I think it would have been better to deal with, like, slower machines or just making extra copies of the build and then getting rid of them later, as opposed to, like, refactoring all these things. Just design them once. You're making 300 science per minute? Oh my goodness. So how long till this summons a train? Not very long. Cool, cool, cool. I mean, we may as well speed this up a bit. Tier 6 is a pretty cheap. Uh, 19 megawatt? Don't think so. That's 320... Plus 20. Okay, so 7. 8 and 7. That'll catch up a bit faster. 16.4 per second. 8 per second on each side. Definitely got the benefit of hindsight there, yeah. I mean, if I was really serious about better UPS as well, I wouldn't use spaceships. I'd use cargo rockets even into the late game, even though I hate them. Uh, I hate the way they crash all the time. Even when the... Uh, the odds of them crashing are supposedly vanishingly low. Oh, you can you can go. Uh, it, it seems like they just constantly crash. Did we turn all these off? Oh boy. This is deprecated, by the way. We're supposed to be getting rid of these. Meanwhile, there's a casual 7,000 matter just sitting there. Uh, be gone. Be gone. You're already waiting to get out of here. Can we maybe... Drop the provide threshold. And have that matter taken away. Before we deke on this. If you planned on going with cargo rockets, I'm sure you would have focused on that research. Yeah. But does it actually get to the point where they never crash? Or... Are you still dealing with crashes even if you pour literally millions of research packs into rocket safety? And that's without a science multiplier, by the way. Uh, rocket... 
survivability or is it cargo safety? Chance that cargo pods get damaged in transit. Chances of rockets get damaged in transit have a navigation failure. Okay. Uh, so for 14, we're looking at 16,000 without a science multiplier, but it gets more and more expensive. Let, let's just get rid of this for the moment. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Is that the last one? One million. That's not that big of a deal for for us now, but I mean, at any like other stage of the game. So they always have crash percent. The longer distance still has a noticeable crash rate, yeah. With the sheer number of rockets you'd be launching, the odds are that it would still feel often. They'd be crashing like every two seconds, I think. Uh, no joke. Oh, the train came. So... This goes somewhere else first, doesn't it? Gravitational lensing data. All the more reason to bump up the modules on it. Where does grav lensing data go? Whatever, it's fine. Broad catalog, dark matter. Uh, what is this? Time space anomaly data. And that's it. Okay, what are we doing right now? Good question. Good question. I never actually... I left this train here the entire time. Oops. Uh, we were going to put teleporters here. How about... Here? See how that looks. Fantastic. Uh, I guess it's gonna have to be like that. And we need to make a pair of teleporters. Or preferably more. What does a teleporter require again? Uh, Equim processor... Self-healing gel. I think we dumped a bunch in the mall. Uh, uh, okay, what machine makes it? What's the point? Pretty much anything. Let's just check over here. Teleporter. We've got everything but teleportation GPS module. I, I knew there was something like this. It was a little bit of a pain to make. GPS module. I think we have to launch it from a cargo... Not a cargo rocket. Um, how do we make this? Teleportation GP... Right click. Um, it's not technically from a recipe. GPS module. Here we go. GPS satellite. AI core navsat rocket control unit. much of a pain to make. It's just not part of our usual logistics. Um, I don't suppose GPS Navsat. We've got everything but the Navsats here. I mean it's a bit of a waste to grab 50 of these. That's not a navsat. Asteroid belt probe. Oh, the navsats are downstairs, aren't they? I think we build them on the spot. We don't send them through the train network. Yeah, I remember having to come back here for them. Okay. Um... I guess I'll just go down there. And we need how many? 
We need one for each teleportation GPS module, right? GP... Uh... Oh yeah, no, it's not a recipe. I keep forgetting. Yeah, we put this in as cargo and launch a rocket. AI core rocket control unit. It's going to be easy to make that downstairs. Okay. Let's go downstairs. Where's my train? Maybe I should build a space elevator here just for my own convenience. But then I think the trains would start using it. Well, I guess I could always just, like, not connect the rail network? To... Nah. I'd want my personal trains to be able to use it anyway. Because as easy as it would be stepping into teleporter, teleporting... Going up elevator, stepping into teleporter, teleporting. Uh, it's kind of easier to step into a train and then focus on something else. Where's our train? Here it comes. I wonder if there's something we could do better with a rail block design so that when trains are going diagonally like this, uh, they can go faster. Not having the corners of each rail block together like that might be the way to go. Probably easy to make that part here. Let's grab like 20 of these. This time. Oh, it means I'm going to have to sit through a bunch of launches though. And if I'm going to borrow these again, I need to do a little song and dance. Uh, preventing... I need to add a constant combinator. Because these are all blacklist, right? Yeah. We need to prevent it from inserting regular navset. Uh, what am I doing? Constant combinator. Let's go over here, please. Actually... Probably should pick up some of these while we're at it. I think we needed like four AI cores. Let's just grab a couple of stacks. Um, per satellite. And we need some rocket control units as well. Which are right here. How many do we need? One per satellite. Okay, give me 20. Oops. And then over this way. Oh, wait here, actually. Uh, and then... Can I just handcraft these? Uh, 
I don't think so. Wait, Navsa. I actually can. That's hilarious. Alright, I want to grab exactly 20 though. One more. Fantastic. Okay. Yoink. And GPS. Yoink. Doesn't even take long. Uh, and we want to remove... We want to add a blacklist for now to these. Let's use the red wire. Of satellite. Navigation satellite. Uh, and for now we want to remove the heat shielding blacklist. Get these ready to launch. That reminds me, did we even bring the Arcospheres back home? Oh no, please. You're joking. You're joking. We actually lost Arcospheres to an asteroid. Also, apparently we don't... All of the construction bots are hovering, holding stuff that we... Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. We lost like... Probably about 23 Arcospheres. Alright. Um, instruction ship. Wait, where is it again? Dark Flare. Where did Dark Flare? You need a passive space Spidertron? What do you mean by that? What are the odds? I don't know, but I mean, normally, uh, normally we launch right after, um, right after deconning everything here. But they didn't even finish deconning this stuff. Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it's not just because I neglected it for a while. The asteroids hit before we were even finished removing the floor. After, like, right after we deconstructed the, uh, media defenses. That, that's when the media hit. Or, I, I guess it's technically an asteroid if it's out here. Bruh. Could be worse. Another might strike before t -Hex gets there. Um, that reminds me. Well, not reminds me. Uh, test. Uh, not test. Fast. The how fast is this? Uh, what's the automation signal for Dark Flare? 1121. One, one. Uh, is this memory cell empty? No, it doesn't need a memory cell. Asteroid field 1121. One, one. And we're going via Foenestra. Because it'll, we'll get there like twice as fast. Oh my god. That timing. The mod Spidertron drop allows you to dock spiders passively on a ship, meaning they cost zero integrity. You could just activate them in emergencies. Oh, I see. It wouldn't have stopped the media though. You set it to 1121? One one two one. Asteroid field one one two one. 
Yes. Yeah, it'll change destination to that once we get to Foenestra. Okay. Let's launch these. I thought you said it should be one two one. No. How many have we got left? Uh, why is this one so much slower? What the hell? What? What? We literally launched. What? What? That's so weird. What the what what was that about? How is this one slower? I what? Uh, I mean, as long as we get our GPS modules. That's weird, though. Meanwhile, in a galaxy far, far away? Maybe an even distro goof? I don't think even distro goofs like that. What am I looking? Oh my god. That is several Arcospheres. Okay. I, I'm just upset that we actually lost Arcospheres. Of all things. Like, I, I wouldn't even be mad if it hit, like, the spaceship wall uh, and we needed a rescue. I don't think we do need a rescue here, but I'm not leaving all this crap here. Polluting the place. Also, with the way the bots are, it's a bit of a problem. Oh, I could always... No, that's a ghost. I guess I could always set requests on one of these green chests for the stuff that they're holding on to right now. But that'll just mess things up for later. Do antimatter reactors go boom? Uh, probably. I, I don't know, honestly. This is taking longer than I thought it would. I mean, it's all, it's, I don't want to change it because I know it's way faster than it needs to be. Speaking of faster than it needs to be, we left room for a lot more machines here that are very not necessary. Um, could probably redo the belts a bit here. Blue belt. I don't really have room the way I was thinking of. Throw media at Bider friendo, say oops, and get back those spheres? No. He's a good boy. He hasn't actually moved since I put him here. I don't know if he's happy in space. Maybe we should bring him back down. He hasn't... He hasn't played with the, uh, with the roundabout belts even once. What's the point of that friendly biter anyway? It's a friend. What do you mean? What's the point of a friend? That's kind of dark. Okay, so we put all of these in at the same time, and they were already ready to go, right? It's definitely out of sync. That's so weird. 
Oh, maybe... I don't know. I, I really don't know. Whatever, give me these. Uh, what have we got? Two launches left. Bug friend, indeed. New chem? No. Try to move friendo using belts. Uh, I think we've done that and he just kind of moved back to the same spot. Do we have blue belts? Yeah, we do. Oh, never mind. Doesn't even get pushed. Oh, yes he does. He's not having it. He says no. No, I'm I'm not playing your little game. It's gonna sulk in the corner now. I don't exactly wanna bring him down to roam freely where all the trains are. That could be bad. Oh, I know. This, okay, let's see. GPS. Let's see if this uh, gets them to launch in sync. We'll just wait till these are ready to go and then we'll right click this. Why is there no solid rocket fuel? Why is there no solid rocket fuel? I. It's actually pretty concerning. Solid... Rocket fuel. Oh, is it actually slow now? Hmm. We're bottlenecked on oxygen. Uh, we expected that, I'm pretty sure. And this was set up to be bursty, but that should be more than good enough. But apparently, it's not so good right now. I mean, I could put pumps here, but it's just going to be a short-term solution. We're going to end up bottlenecking in the same way. I'm pretty sure the ratio here is, like, kind of ridiculous. Yeah... You need stupid amounts of uh, atmospheric condensers to keep up with this. But we calculated that this is probably way more than we need. Like, for the whole playthrough. Solid rocket fuel, last 50 hours, consumption, 17.6 per minute. And at peak, this is capable of 647 per minute. So you can see how we'd be okay with just burst consumption of oxygen. But apparently it's not cutting it right now. I guess I should have made more storage for the solid rocket fuel. Probably. Maybe I could just unlimit this and not worry about uh, that sucks. Don't worry about short or long trains. That seems bad, actually. Maybe I should add more oxygen production here. How am I going to fit it well, though? I'm not? I don't think if we do, like, an output here... It has access to all of this. This one can just go around the side, that's not a problem, but this one don't really have room to do otherwise. Unless I like rotate this and I really don't want to do that. I guess I could just put these over here and pump them over. 
That can only go like one more tile to the left. Hmm. If I put this here, we could easily fit like a couple more of these. Almost. Just move this down one. Actually, that doesn't work. Uh, what if... No. What if I move all of these back a bit? Hold on. We can easily fit a couple more of these here. Something like that. One, two, three, four. So we've more than doubled the oxygen. That should be okay. Uh, at mood condensers, we don't normally carry, I don't think. At mood condensers. Where are they? Electrolysis. I think we deleted them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got room here, right? New condenser. Don't actually need 25 of these. Whatever. And swing by over here. Okay. You're still oxygen bottlenecked. Uh, we're not really losing time because we're building up reserves of oxygen here. And that should be a bit better. Actually, wait here. Is it possible to... I don't think so. Uh, I guess we could... Move all of this down. And I, I was thinking of fitting another one of these here, but that's not really going to work. But what we can do is put in a large. So we started with three. We've just tripled the oxygen now. Uh, it's still very much oxygen bottlenecked, but the whole thing should go three times faster. Uh, when it's oxygen starved. That's not too bad. And again, uh, it should overall be way faster than we need. But right now, we've got no damn solid rocket fuel here. Do we have some in the mall? Less than 150 stacks, no doubt, but uh, that's like 74. Let's borrow this train for a bit. Solid rocket fuel. Just grab what we've got here already. Why aren't you putting it into the cargo wagon? Okay, that works, I guess. Do 
Can we go a little bit faster? Nope, it didn't even matter. Okay, that's fine for now. Go drop this off over here. And then reset that. Hopefully it doesn't drop off any used uh, power packs. It probably might. If it, if they had any. Alright, get out of here. Why... Destination full? Oh, I know what you're doing. Mole returns. Okay, so we got some solid fuel. How much does it take? 300? For one launch. Well, no wonder we ran out. Damn. I didn't realize it takes 300 solid rocket fuel for one launch. Uh, so one short train... Well, hold on. Uh, that's a thousand. Yeah, no, um, one long train is... is three and a third rocket launches. That's kind of rough. Didn't realize. Okay. So we're going to be playing catch up with the solid rocket fuel for a little while. Big storage makes it a lot more sense all of a sudden. A lot more sense. And yeah, we're all, we didn't even get any of these ready to launch again. Bruh. Bruh. We're not even done making the GPS modules right now. I don't really need this many, but I just wanted to have, like, a stockpile for later. Data Gnome, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Got room for pumps out of the tanks now. Oh, true. But I don't think it would make a difference, though. Uh, where was it? Because the more full this is, uh, the faster this does its thing. And it's going to be bottlenecked on the oxygen regardless. Uh, yeah, we're creeping towards a train load now. What if we just trigger a delivery for the moment? Where is it going to go? It is going to the mall. How dare you. No, don't put that there. Okay. Gone a little over time, but I want to see if we can fix this in the meantime. Also, where's our ship? Uh, I, I definitely don't want to leave that loose end. Anchor to Darkfire. Okay, cool. I don't want to lose this. Uh, leave this loose end till tomorrow. Okay. Why did they end up putting copper and... Oh, it's because they decon... It's because the... It's because this is where they, like, decon the, uh... Meteorite. Okay, and don't forget... I want bots and bots right here. Okay. Back to Hagen Orbit with you, which is Moon Orbit 1180, if I recall. Uh, I need to empty this first. 
pulse that onto the memory cell. Come to think of it, we don't need this pulse generator memory cell set up. Because we'd... Yeah, this is all we need is a constant and a decider if we're manually setting the destination. Uh, why don't I just replicate that? Okay, so it's Moon Orbit 1180. Just double check. Yes. And... You know, we don't even really need this many Arcospheres, but I'm still upset that we lost such a finite resource. Over such a wild improbability as well. Okay. Uh, back to Hagen Orbit via Phonestra, please. Cool. And with nothing left here, we can delete surface. Goodbye, Dark Flare, good riddance. What a shame. Oops. Oh, where was that train going? I just want to make sure. Yeah, it's going back to depot. It'll get its schedule reset. Oh, and these are ready to launch. Cool. Let's do this before we go. Oop. And this time it really should be in sync. Fantastic. I guess it really was even distribution. Somehow. All right, cool. All right, that's going to be it for today. Let's find someone to raid. And we'll pick this up tomorrow. Um, been a minute since we dropped in on Mucky, I think. Actually, Mr. Dane's doing SEK2. There's actually a lot more people doing SEK2 today. Well, a lot is a relative term. That's just the people who stream it. Artur's Lackic, welcome in. What happened here? A media hit... Or I guess it's technically an asteroid. Uh, hit our Arcosphere ship just when it was packing up uh, and ready to go back with Arcospheres. Really unfortunate. And it wasn't even because I forgot about it for a while, because the space platform plating hadn't been put away, because the media had destroyed the container where the space platform plating goes. So that showed that it hit before we even finished uh, deconstructing our little temp base. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until next time, stay safe. What nice RNG, right? See you tomorrow, guys. Thanks for stopping by Artur's, Scobix, Vovacent, Dardanome, Valdite, Missing, Total, Krasus, Warstriker, 
everyone else, including all you lovely likers. See you all tomorrow. And Shack Cat, take care. If this was I do, I actually need a lot of this.